Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, good morning and welcome to the show. Happy Friday, everybody. I hope everyone had a fantastic rest of their Thursday. I hope you're all having a great Friday so far today. Tigers fan, thank you so much for gifting Kelly Pot a sub. Kelly Pot, welcome back. You know, we started out so well, Tigers fan. And then... Get this over with, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> it was going to happen at some point, apparently. Uh, happy Friday, everybody. I hope everyone had a fantastic rest of their Thursday. I hope you're all having a great Friday so far today. Bishop Wifeboat, Matt, Tigers fan, Boofs, Kelly Pot, Twigs, um, Flamingo. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. I hope you're all doing well. If I missed you, good morning. Uh, it is a very special morning, at least here in this household. Today is Wife Boat's birthday, so everyone stop what you're doing and wish Wife Boat a very, very happy birthday. She is 23 years old today. Really impressive. Artie, how's it going? Uh, so happy birthday to the love of my freaking life, Wife Boat. <clears throat> Happiest of 23rd birthdays, yes. Uh, so, there we go. That was going to bother me. Uh, so, it is Friday. We are going to do Stardew Valley again today. I'm really excited for that. We got to year two. We are in day one of spring of year two in Stardew. So, we're going to kick off right rolling into spring, planting some crops, getting year two underway. It's going to be a ton of fun. I'm really, really excited to uh, get into it. LeFay, good morning. How's it going? <clears throat> Oods. Oods, thank you so much for that raid, buddy. I hope you had a fantastic stream. Playing some Dark Souls. Oh, boy. Dark Souls 2? Brave Soul. <laughs> Brave soul. Oods, happy Friday. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. It's killing you. <laughs> There's what, 40? What is there, 40-something bosses in Dark Souls 2? A ridiculous number of bosses. Um, just ridiculous. Uh, so... It's Friday. It's my last stream of the week. I believe I'll be streaming again on Monday. I'll I'll definitely post the schedule later today um, <clears throat> in Discord and on Twitter to let you know where I'm going to be at this coming week. So you didn't realize there was that many. There's they went for quantity over quality foods in Dark Souls Two. So buckle up. <laughs> It's, it's a long one. Nikki, good morning. Happy Friday. <clears throat> uh, so, I forget where I was going with this. Oh, uh, LeFay, uh, I refunded your points for story time for the second story because I haven't gotten to it in three and a half months. So, I wanted to give you those points back in case you wanted to do something else with them. I don't know with the schedule right now when I'm going to be able to get to reading time. So, um, it is, it is wife boat's birthday today. Uh, so I refunded those points. I might deactivate story time for a little bit until I can figure out a better format for it. Uh, just because it's very difficult to find things to read and then time, time to read them. So, uh, I am working on something else that may take its place slash be the same thing, just in a slightly different, uh, different format. So, uh, that's a work in progress. So, uh, for now, if you had an outstanding story time, I think Ananda, Jube and LaFay still had outstanding story times. So those points have been refunded, um, until we can settle into the new thing. So 
That aside, it's Friday. We made it to the end of the week, everybody. Happy freaking Friday. <clears throat> you know, you try to start your stream and relax. And then this happens. Mork! Can I eat a sub? I don't have any witty messages or jokes, so... Really? Really? You're welcome. Lefay, thank you so much for 10 months. Thank you so freaking much for the tier 3 sub. Good lord, that's ridiculous. Mark, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome everybody from part-time stream. My name is Tug. We're just kicking off. We're going to play some Stardew Valley today. We're getting into year two of uh, 1.5 on the beach farm. Welcome in. Thank you so much for the raid. How the devil are you? How was the rest of uh, SnowRunners? I really want to play that game, Mark, and I hate you so much for it. My steering wheel is right there staring at me, and I want to hook it up and play that game. Um, good lord. Uh, Mark, Floyn, Chubex, Zool, Orca, Catmass, C, Mulroney, uh, 4JSM, Mr. PDBR. Welcome in, everybody. Mom, it's Mom Games Had. Uh, yeah, Nook Convoy. Mom, sign me up. I'm in. I have uh, ATS. I'm, I'm in. Pathogen, good to see you. <clears throat> Would you say the wheel is steering at you? Trubex, get out. Chubsy, how's it going? <clears throat> uh, so we're just about to kick off into some Stardew. Beloin! <clears throat> Twitch baby. Twitch baby. Tug big finger guns, tug loin. No. 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 Falloin, thank you so much for nine months. Welcome back. I really appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. There are so many lovely Nook people in here today. <clears throat> uh, I hope everybody's doing well. Happy Friday. Uh, so... <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, yeah, if you're just coming in, we're going to jump into some Stardew Valley. We are doing 1.5. We started a new beach farm. We are on day one of spring of year two. So we got a lot kicking off. Oods! My goodness. Thank Not so sure if this months. will work, wow. but ch 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 thank you so much for four months and for whatever that was. I appreciate it. That was a bopper. Yeah, you got to cat jam that. Uh, <laughs> SnowRunners multiplayer? Really? I did not know that, Mark. Have your people talk to my people. We'll figure something out. <laughs> uh, so we're going we're gonna to start you today. Uh, we might, towards the end of the stream, jump over to some Minecraft, and I'll give you guys a tour of the Big Build server. Uh, which is the server for Nook streamers that we're doing challenge builds on right now. It's tree houses, which, oh my God, the, the, I was going to build a tree house until I saw everybody else's tree houses. And then I went, no, nah, I'm good. I'm, I'm just going to build a road. Uh, so gem, gem, how's it going? Welcome in. <clears throat> you will stay up late for a Friday night snow runner session. Snow runners, PVP. <laughs> You're saying we're going to get to see your hole. Yes, Lafay. Yes. Uh, I dug a big hole and now I'm making a road. <laughs> That's basically what I've done. Because, um, you know, I'm a simple man. And I'm easily distracted. Uh, so, we might do that towards the end of the stream. Jump in and just give you guys a tour of the server. The uh, first week's challenge of tree houses is wrapping up this weekend, and then we'll have a new challenge on Monday. Uh, Monday, which is also two weeks 
from the start of the big dig, which is the Nook's hardcore Minecraft save file challenge. It is one save file that is passed from streamer to streamer to streamer. Chubex, uh, Mom Games Hard, Part Time, and a ton of other 14 different Nook streamers will be taking part. Uh, so it's going to be a ton of fun. Ten of them have not did not take take part in season one, and a bunch of them have really never played Minecraft before. So, uh, including JGM Jim, who has literally never played it before, ever, and his first time playing is going to be on on stream in hardcore. I think he is the eleventh. I think he's the eleventh uh, player to go, um, which is going to be fun. 11 people building up a world and then Jim just destroying it probably. <laughs> so, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. The first season was an absolute riot. We have a bunch of different challenges that the competitors need to try and complete before the end of the event. So it's going to be a ton of fun that kicks off two weeks from Monday on February 15th on Chubex's channel. So uh, I hope you can check that out. You can also go to the big dig dot X, Y, Z, uh, the nooks moderator extraordinaire g scott made a fantastic website that showcases a lot of season one as well as what's coming up in season two uh so it's absolutely wonderful thank you chew there's the link if you want jen happy friday i hope you're doing well secretly tug skipped the tree house and instead made a tea house i haven't made a giant tea yet matt ridiculous yet yeah. Yeah, G is an absolute legend. Complete and absolute legend. Um, <clears throat> yet, there is time, Chubex. There are weeks and weeks and weeks. Uh, there's some things I need to do first, but that is definitely on the agenda. Don't, don't you worry. Uh, so, that being said, I think that's all that I have. Uh, if you're not in Discord or following me on Twitter, that is where the weekly schedule is posted. My schedule, unfortunately, right now changes days every week due to COVID stuff. Uh, my wife, who it is her birthday today, so say happy birthday to wife boat or I will find you. Uh, her schedule changes every week because she's an intensive care nurse and COVID. So, uh, my schedule flexes around hers plus kids doing remote schooling and stuff. So, uh, so happy birthday to wife boat <clears throat> prepaid for the next four months of the surfer today. So there's some time. Yeah, it's, it has been so much fun and seeing so many people take part has been absolutely incredible. I think ink of violet uh, I believe Violet is going to be streaming from the server today. Uh, both Zelda and I am Space Shark streamed from it last night. I'm probably going to do some streams from the server uh, in the coming weeks. Uh, I know Twiggy is going to be streaming from that server every Sunday. So uh, there'll be a lot of content coming from that. And you can see the world that we're kind of slowly building together without the looming pressure of uh, permadeath hanging over our heads. So. Um, I think that's all I got. Kitten Overlord, good to see you. Happy Friday. I'm doing very well. Yeah, there's so much cool stuff already. Uh, I'm having a ton of fun with it. Just doing like, just kind of doing my, <laughs> doing my own thing in between everybody else's stuff. So um, it has been an absolute uh, wonderful time uh, and I'm really, really enjoying it. So uh, that being said, it's time to play some Stardew. It's day one of spring of year two. So we're going to jump in. We have money for crops. Uh, we set up some sprinklers. We are doing the beach, the beach farm. So there's only a small rectangle where you can have sprinklers. The rest of the farm is no sprinkler land. So uh, we're going to do some focused crops and poke a little bit more towards doing the greenhouse. If you haven't been here for my Stardew plays before, typically I kind of grind out Stardew and focus on optimizing my money earnings and all that stuff. And I'm trying to avoid that this time. And I'm getting to know people in town. I've never seen basically all of the heart events. So we have been getting heart events left and right. We're trying to get everybody up to 10 hearts. So that's kind of what we're, we're working on. We're pretty much going to end up dating everybody in town. So, uh, lots of heart events coming and lots of fun stuff. You have a membership to the nice store? No, Mikey is a terrible person. Although Mikey's enjoyment 
of Stardew Valley is giving me life. And his enjoyment of fishing is giving me life. It is everything that I ever wanted. Everything I ever wanted. <clears throat> Seeing him completely lose himself hello, in hello. Stardew has been incredible. Thank you so much for the follow. Well, he's so angry that he loves it. I know. He did not expect to like it at all. The kids are horrified that you said Mikey is awful. Mikey is awful. In more ways than that. Partially cloudy with lots of breeze. I sense a new viewer has joined us. The spirits are very displeased today. All right, we're basically just going to see Pierre and plant. We're going to live off the land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Well, a new year has arrived. Keep your eyes peeled for any new kinds of seeds being stocked in your local general store. Hopefully you upgraded your tools during the winter and you're ready for a productive year. The kids don't know the truth. Yeah. Uh, okay. By the way, Artie, that cozy nook blanket picture is incredible. He looked very, very cozy. Ooh, hi, Leah. Hi, Tug. Are you free this afternoon? I finally got my act together, and I'm doing my art show tonight in the town square. Come into town between three and five if you want to be there. Noice. Oh. Ah, Kent. Uh, hello there. My name's Kent. I just got back last night from overseas. My wife told me that a new farmer had moved in while I was gone. It's so warm it's your new desk lap blanket in nearly 10 years. Nice. Well, I just wanted to introduce myself. I'll see you around. Yeah. <clears throat> Welcome to year two. Notice, the price of raw materials at Robin's shop and Clint's shop has increased. Great. Okay. Uh, I just want to... Ooh, secret note. If you can read this, come to Secret Woods. Please bring maple syrup. We shall do so. Uh, let's grab our row. Say hi to our puppy. Gotta say hi to our animals. Clean up the farm a little bit. But I want to make sure we go see Pierre right away so that we can get cracking with uh, with crops. All right, they need coral, uh, so we can check the. Check the farm and then the beach as well for that. <clears throat> Ooh, so one of the things that we're doing is I planted, uh, these are all tea bushes. So we're doing basically a hedge fence with tea plants. And I'm really excited to see how that turns out once they, once they come in fully. Oods, have a great night. Thank you so much again for the raid. I appreciate it. Have a great weekend if I don't see you again. You might copy that. It's it's a really good idea. I forget who brought it up initially, uh, but somebody mentioned they had seen it somewhere. Uh, plus, they, they never go away. They don't go away in winter. They just don't produce tea in winter. So they stay year-round, and they never degrade. So that's kind of awesome plus tea. Then towards the end of every season, you get a big batch of tea, so that ain't bad. All right, we got to open the doors to let them out. And what's going on? Didn't make the tea plants into a subtle tea? Uh, if it was more aesthetically pleasing in this game, I absolutely would. Let's check on our cows. A generous Patch. Good morning, Tug. I just spent $300 on hiring a limousine and discovered the fee doesn't include a driver. I can't believe I've spent all that money and have nothing to show for it. Patch, thank you so much for the bits. 
Happy Friday, buddy. Terrible. Just terrible. Uh, I gotta plant grass over there. Otherwise... Uh, actually, let's go see Pierre before we lose all our energy and stuff. So, don't laugh at that. That only encourages him. It's terrible. Uh, so we need to plant some grass over here. It'll start to propagate pretty easily. Actually, do I have... I can put one, <laughs> one grass starter. Let's put it as far away from the animals as possible. And then hopefully it, it propagates before they eat it. Nope, the cow's going right for it. <laughs> Tigers fan, you know... Let's go see Pierre. We have, I think, 58 spots. M's right on time. They eat the grass, they will not eat the hay inside, correct? Uh, give me one second. I will be uh, right back. everybody. We're fine. Landing gear's fixed. It's fine. Oh! When, when, when doing space travel, it's often good to put your, your space suit on before exiting the ship. That was, I just, I wanted to see if there was an atmosphere on that planet, you know, because that's um, something that you should check every now and then, you know, the, the atmospheric stability of, of, no, sorry about that. <clears throat> My foot's going to make me some toast. I think I had too much coffee and I didn't have anything to eat and my stomach just went like, do not like. Uh, okay. We need crops. Parsnip, green bean, cauliflower, and potato. We need a bunch of potatoes because we need gold star potatoes for the quality crops bundle. So we'll get that out of the way. So parsnip, cauliflower, green bean... Uh, and then we need potatoes. Let's do that. Uh, one, two, three, four. Six of those. <clears throat> Ten of those. Ten of those. Uh, and then we need to do flowers. So my eventual plan, one of the things with 1.5 is that you can move the greenhouse. So my eventual plan, the greenhouse right now is not completed. Once we complete it, I'll move it. But that island where the greenhouse is, we're going to move the greenhouse off of that. And then I'm going to make that a flower island and put a bunch of, um, <clears throat> a bunch of beehives on there. But for now, we can plant 
some flowers. We have a few beehives sitting in storage, I think, at the moment. That's 22, 32, 38. So we could still do more. Let's do more potatoes. Uh, 36, 47, 53. So we have room for a couple more. Do that and then see how we shake out. Okay. Let's see where that leaves us. Boom, ba -doom, boom, boom. So we'll go clear the farm. <clears throat> we need to hoe. And go from there. Oh, man. I keep going to drink my coffee. Oh, cutscene. Oh, is this the cow cutscene with Haley? I've seen this one before. Oh, Tug. I guess this one can't pop during winter, huh? The lighting is so nice right now. I had to come out and take some nature shots. Although we got the picnic one with Penny in the winter, so. I've been trying to connect with the outdoors a little more. I want to know what it's like being a farmer. It's a way of life I've never really thought about. Well, until now. Raven Queen, happy Friday. Hope you're doing well. No, not yet, Ads. Uh, not for the lack of trying, though. Huh. These cows are so cute. Hey, I have an idea. Let's take some pictures with these cows. You can show me how to approach one. I'll just set it to shoot on a timer. <clears throat> this is the first cutscene where Haley starts to become likable. Oh, last run was definitely a fluke, Ads. I mean, I got a dinosaur egg and the trash can lid by day six of spring, so. <laughs> like everybody in town, anybody who is like really short and shy in town, they become inherently more likable as you go through their heart events. Gah. <laughs> Zolda. It's Zolda. <laughs> she got thrown in the mat in the uh, in the mud ads. That was fun, Tug, and these photos are hilarious. Haley looks how I feel right now. Yeah. I'm gonna go home and take a shower now. Get wrecked. <laughs> okay. That's a great cutscene. That's one of the only uh, Shane's heart events, and then that one with Haley are like the only ones I've seen. I love that one. <clears throat> All right, time for planting, and then we gotta replace these pathways. I'm gonna do more of this style pathway eventually. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Let's get to hoeing. And I need... Oh, maybe I should have bought more quality fertilizer. From Pierre. I gotta check and see what I have. We might have to go back. And get some more. Ooh. One second. Wife boat made me some toast. Try and help settle my belly. Yeah. Don't you give me a happy birthday napkin? Cause it's wife boat's birthday. Everybody say happy birthday to her again. Is this the original playthrough where Tug Romance Haley? Uh yeah. My very first ever Stardew playthrough. I romanced Haley. And then yeah, we have uh I don't know if we'll get there today, Bishop. That might be tomorrow. Hi, Penny. Okay. 
kind gesture. Happy birthday wife Boat, love Zelda, but mostly Russell. Hopefully my lol 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 lol. Zelda, thank you for the bits. And thank you for the birthday wishes from wife Boat. Uh, alright, one more. Can't wait to get Iridium Sprinklers. We just unlocked Krobus. So that means if we get enough money, we can get some Iridium Sprinklers. Alright, I'm gonna put the beans down this side, because you can walk on the outside of them. <clears throat> Let me see if I have fertilizer real quick. Because we need quality crops. We need gold star potatoes. Is the sewer a dungeon? Who knows? Could be. Retaining soil, quality retaining soil, quality fertilizer. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> We'll do this middle strip in quality fertilizer and put the potatoes down. A generous bestowal. Hatch. Wait, it's a wife boat birthday. Be careful, too many birthdays can kill you. <laughs> Hatch, thank you so much for the bits. Risky joke, fella. And one more. One more potato. <clears throat> okay. And we'll do cauliflower. And parsnips. I was one short. Well, my quick counting was off. Straddled the line, but figured it would be worth it. That's how we met. Uh, the kids want me to remind you about Leah's art show. Yes, yes, yes. We missed it today. We'll have to see it tomorrow. It doesn't have to be the day that they visit you. It's just letting you know that if you visit town during that time window, the event will happen. Like we had with Elliot's book reading. It was like a full season after he told us about that, that I finally triggered it. Jersey, what's going on? Gator, good to see you as well. Okay. Uh, crops are planted. I should water them. Otherwise, we lose a day of growth. And I am going to need to upgrade my my pickaxe. Let me do that. <laughs> Listen, don't worry about it. Uh, what was I doing? Let me put stuff away. Hang on. I don't remember what I was doing. To the surprise of no one. Uh. Oh, where's my watering can? That's what I'm looking for. There it goes up here. All right. Ooh, one of our jellies is done. Doo, 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 doo. Okay. <clears throat> I do wish... I wonder if there's a mod for that. That you could... If you interacted with the sprinklers, if you could trigger them to water. That would be kind of cool. So that on the first day of planting, you could just trigger the sprinkler and it would water everything for you. <laughs> I 
Luckily, adds, the game doesn't differentiate. Other than when you're fishing. Water is water, so. Bia. What's going on? That sounds too easy. Well, I mean, after you put sprinklers down, it'd be nice just to be able to activate them. Just, you know, just saying. There, let's grab this stuff. We didn't spend that much money on seeds. The mod that runs the sprinklers, whether or not there are crops. Uh, they run even if there aren't crops, Jersey. They, they always run every morning. They go off. Uh, whether there's crops around them or not. <clears throat> More so just the... When you replant or when you're initially planting in the season, they've already gone off for the day. So you can't... You have to water those crops by hand or you don't and you miss out a day of... Uh, you miss out on a day of growth. The ground just needs to be tilled then. If the ground's not tilled, it won't show that it's watered. Uh, but they always go off every morning, so. Uh, where's my beehives? Let's do that. I think I have... Two... I only have one. Can I make more? Wood, coal, iron bar, and maple. Okay, I don't have any. Ooh, do I have maple syrup? I do. I have three. All right, so let's grab. Let's grab all three. I'll make two more beehives. Uh, what else did I need? Wood. I'll make two more beehives, and then we'll keep one. Uh, one maple syrup for the secret woods for the bear. <clears throat> Drew a picture yesterday, but she's holding up her middle finger and has the F word on her hat. Yeah, that's fine, Nikki. You can always, when you post stuff in, if you're ever concerned about that, you can use the spoiler tag on it and it blurs it out and people have to actively click it. So you can put the spoiler alert on it and then write like just that it has strong language just so people know. Sin, happy Friday. Good to see you. Hire someone to your farm. There is, Gator, there are mods, I think, to hire farm helpers. Just realized we forgot about Leah's art show. I wasn't really planning on going today. Just because... I wanted to get the crops down today, so. We can trigger that on the morrow. Okay, we'll do a fairy rose, one of those, and another fairy rose. I think I'll just do those. Then we'll get three different types of honey once those grow in. I think there's also a thing later down the line that helps you farm. I know some uh, some spouses will uh, help around the farm for you. Oh, scarecrows! Hold up. Do I have a scarecrow over there, or do I take it? Did I take it out? I don't think I do. Let's do that. Uh, I like it, uh, Sin, because it limits your crops, your crop potential. I like it quite a bit because of that, um, which is weird to, to say, but uh, I like it quite a bit because it allows you to focus more. So that's the, this is the only area on the beach farm that you can put sprinklers is just this rectangle right here. The rest of it, you can't put sprinklers down. You can grow stuff there, but then you have to water it by hand. So I think it allows you to focus more uh, on better crops and then kind of doing whatever with the rest of the farm. It's going to be, it's going to be interesting. We'll see how it goes in the coming, in the coming seasons. But so far, I like it quite a bit.
<laughs> watering by hand. I know, right? I am, I am always going to have to water my flowers by hand unless I leave them in that field. But, uh, that is what it is. I should move these. Those were there because of the bat cave, but I should move those over by the fish pond. So I'm basically going to be focusing on row with that. Uh, okay, we have the maple syrup for the secret woods. I'm going to sell the rest of this stuff. Because we'll get more tomorrow. Okay. That and that. We have a lot of Joja Cola for, uh, what's his name? And we'll keep the tulip bulb. Uh, you know what? Let me plant the tulip bulb real quick. We have one spot open on the sprinklers. So I'll plant a tulip bulb there. Uh, cause there is, someone really likes tulips. Is it Evelyn? I think. Tulips are one of her favorite things. So we can give that to her. Am I remembering correctly? Holy crap. Watch many streamers play this, but we still haven't figured it out. Is there an objective to the game? Is this more like peaceful Minecraft Animal Crossing kind of thing? There are quests, Gator. Uh, so you do have a quest log. <clears throat> so you get all kinds of things, and they basically just kind of steer you towards new content. Like, <clears throat> uh, Pam wants a pale ale. That's something that it gives you early on. So then you slowly try to figure out how to make that. And that leads you towards uh, making kegs, which allows you to start brewing beer and wine and stuff. So I've had this quest for an in-game year, basically. There's no fail condition on it. There's no time limit. So you can go through and do all kinds of stuff and chase after quests and grind money and play it as a much higher energy game, but you don't have to do any of that. You can pick one thing that you like and just do that for a while and then shift to something else and just do that for a while. Um, there's definitely room for you to be crazy about it and do a thousand different things and have a bunch of different plates spinning in the air. But the thing that I love about the game is that you don't have to do any of it. You can just not, and there's no real fail condition. So, um, I think that's, that's primarily what ends up resonating with most people is that you can play it however you want, which is a great thing in a game like this. There's technically an end goal, but you can keep playing after hitting that point. Well, now with 1.5, there's a lot more end content, so. What's that, Don? A refer or raid extension? What you talking about? Does it automatically remove the tag? Ooh, that's cool. It's gonna be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Uh, it's a bad luck day. <clears throat> I didn't know that existed. That's pretty cool. Dear Tug, I'm now selling higher quality fertilizers as well as new crop selections. See you soon. Oh. Went from shork to mork to tork without refreshing. Nice. Ah, uh, that's cool. Uh, post that. Yeah. Yeah, share that up. That's cool. Tug, I thought it would be fun to write you a note. I had so much fun with the cows yesterday. I'm starting to understand why you chose the farmer's life. Hope to see you soon. Hello there, dear. I hope the farm is doing well. I'm sending you a little something from my kitchen. I hope it didn't crumble in the mail. Ooh, chocolate cake. There's a, there's a few people who love chocolate cake, right? Not Caroline. Not Robin. Judy. Maru likes chocolate cake. I know Haley does, right? 
I'm hoping maybe somebody else does that I need hearts with. Patch, take care. Have a good meeting. <clears throat> it's in the Discord? I didn't read it that much this morning. Listen, I have things to do, Briar. Thank you, Dawn. Abigail? Yeah, I was hoping... Someone who I need hearts with was more into it. Because Abigail, we're maxed right now. Or we could give her a bouquet. I'm not sure I want to start doing the dating thing yet until we get everyone who's single up to eight. I guess it doesn't much matter. It's year two, Dawn. I'm way behind. To be fair, <clears throat> I kind of thought I would be further along. It's, yeah. I have been spreading my mayo all over town. No, spring year two. This is day two of year two. Chocolate cake is loved by Abigail, Evelyn, and Jody. Okay, Evelyn and Jody, I need. I think we'll give it to Jody. Because Evelyn, we have uh, tulips going. We can give her those. <laughs> White boat. I expect better from you. On your birthday, no less. Ridiculous. What was that spelling, Dawn? Uh, where's the other chicken? Chicken! Where'd you go? Chickens! Uh, I really like how this is turning out, by the way. You can tell at different segments when I planted the tea plants, but I think that's going to work out really well. It's especially on her birthday. Listen. Where's Chunnel, Chotso? How did you not lay eggs? What the? Where's your eggs? And where's the other chicken? Where's... Wait. Ch looks grumpy because you're stuck in a tunnel. <laughs> the chicken went in the secret tunnel. All right. Well, that explains that. Why is the why is the chicken grumpy? And why can't I say hi to my animals? Did I already do this? No. In the tunnel tunnel. Yeah. Don't be stole. Happy birthday, wife, boat, and Gigi for putting up with this random streamer person on screen right now. Don't, how dare you? Thank you for the bits. How very dare. Uh, I need to get some grass going for my animals. Because they're going to get cranky. Yeah, I've, I've noticed. I didn't have any problem until right now, Orca. I might, I may end up moving the coop. Uh, you're losing chickens and had no idea why? Can they get back out? I'm assuming they can get back out, or do they just stay tra trapped in there forever? <clears throat> they get back at night? Okay. Alright, we're at five aged row. That is going to take forever. 
Uh, hold up. How do I make a fiber plant? Uh, fiber seed kit. Mix seeds, sap, and clay. I have lots of sap. Not a lot of clay. But I definitely have mixed seeds. Those going. Put a big chunk of those over here. So then we can cull that after it grows. Do you have to, you have to hoe the spots for this thing? Oh, come on. I know you don't have to water it, but that's, that's excessive. Might need to fence off the tunnel. Nah. All right, I want to go to Leah's art show today. So we have a couple hours. Whatever you want, lifeboat. Just pick something. Spaghetti, lasagna, pizza, chips. A generous Tiramisu. Ooh, rupture. Did someone say wife boat birthday? Happy birthday, wife boat tug beat love tug beat love. <laughs> rupture, thank you so much for the bits, I appreciate it. Can you plant fiber under your mature trees? Maybe Jersey, probably. Tiramisu for both. Good work. <clears throat> A train? Uh, let's go see what the train has real quick. Don't think they fit in your macros. That is, I mean, accurate, but it's your birthday. You can plant around the mature trees, yes. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Uh, chips and spinach dip? Let's go. That sounds good to me. Hey! The train is throwing rocks at me. I got, I got seven rocks from the train. <laughs> what is the point? Oh, oh, we're getting some geodes now. All right. We do need to crack geodes because I want to keep, keep cracking on with the, uh, museum. Don't knock a train, it's doing its best. Uh, chicken art- uh, chicken, cheese. Spinach artichoke chip, uh, orca. It's amazing. Okay. I got a rock. Alright, it's three o'clock, so let's go to town, and we should get Leah's art show. Boom. <clears throat> <laughs> it would make a nice shirt, yeah. Tug, you're here. Okay, I guess I'd better introduce my pieces. Wish me luck. What is this? Um, okay, everyone. And why are they... Why are there three people dancing on each other's heads? Fabicus, have a good walk. Why isn't it Saturday? Because it's Friday? I'm definitely looking forward to the weekend, Clavicus. Thanks for coming to my art show. As some of you know, I came to this town because I wanted to draw inspiration from the beautiful surroundings. 
it's art you wouldn't understand. This place really feels like home now. Okay, I'm gonna introduce my sculptures now. I haven't named this one yet. She started out as an exercise in human anatomy, but I ended up seeing her through to completion. Her expression is intentionally unclear. Is she embarrassed, amused, pained? I leave that for you to decide. Could be tentacles, yeah. This one's called post-dimensional null space. It represents the boundary of human imagination. The shape and color came to me vividly when I was in a trance state. Everybody in Stardew Valley is stoned out of their gourds all day. I've been calling this one Eggheads. I wanted to create an animatronic humanoid statue to toy with the viewer's ability to properly attribute personhood to a physical entity. And the last one is called Wood Sculpture 3. It's a celebration of my favorite sculpting material, wood. High on starfruit, yeah. Mayor drugs the water supply? Well, those are my sculptures. Oh, one last thing. I'd like to say thanks to my special friend, Tug. He gave me the idea for this show and the courage to go through with it. I know that sounds cheesy, but it's true. I'm proud of you, Leah. Events like this really breathe life into our little town. I love your art, Leah. Post-dimensional null space is my favorite. It would be. Great use of wood. <laughs> Thanks, Robin. Thanks for doing this. Thanks, everyone. Special friend. Ooh. Ooh, woo. Now let's start the bidding on these wonderful art pieces. A marvelous addition to your home. Do I hear 5,000 gold for the pink one? Was oh, that her ex-boyfriend standing in the corner? I just saw that. I never noticed that. The guy in the suit tapping his foot in the corner, looking all angry. Her ex-boyfriend from the big city. I'm assuming that's who it was. Demetrius is uh, post-dimensional null space, yeah. Crop order. Green beans are in high demand this year. Anyone who ships a hundred green beans by the end of the season. Hmm. I have six green beans planted right now. <laughs> I hear there's a spirit made out of potatoes that really packs a wallop, if you know what I mean. Mind dropping a few taters in a keg and bringing me a batch or two? Uh, we don't have kegs yet, so we can't do pams. Pelican Town Agricultural Fund, brought to you by Pierre's Seed Shop. Yeah. A <laughs> hundred individual green beans. You can go into your freezer and grab a bag. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, it's been an hour, so I'm going to sit down. Put my desk back down. Desk go bird. This seems like... Okay. So we've gotten some pretty interesting rewards from doing these. This seems like it may end up being worth it. 
It's a lot of green beans, though. Yeah, you know what? Let's give it a shot. Why not? Free hugs. How's it going? All the green beans. That's not a lot of green beans. They keep producing, right? We'll plant 10 more. Ooh, shrimp tacos. Are you just yelling out food that you want? <laughs> Do we have any shrimp? We can get some. Should I make more sprinklers then? Iron, gold, and refined quartz. Uh, that should be more than enough. 10 days to mature and then harvest every third day. Okay, so we should, we should be okay then, I think. I think. Boom, boom. Uh, I can't plant them in the middle, though, because they will... I won't be able to harvest them. But that's all right. That should be. Yeah, I'll be all right. We'll do that. <clears throat> Zark, what's going on? With a sinus infection? Oof. Sinus infections are the worst. Okay. Got those going. I could grab one, two, three, four more. Think about it. I'll think about it. All right, we're not getting any mayo today because chickens are dumb. No, the chickens are dumb. They're absolutely dumb. They got stuck in the tunnel. And they couldn't get out. <laughs> so the chickens are dumb. Uh, okay, we have... Let's go to the Lost Woods real quick. And, uh... Do the maple syrup. Take care, Gator. Thank you so much for hanging out. I gotta finish replacing all these paths, too. Eventually. Okay. How unappetizing the chocolate cake is, it does not look particularly appetizing. No. Ooh! Cutscene. Oh, Tug, you scared me. See that fruit up there? It looks delicious, doesn't it? But I can't reach it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Thanks. Okay, got it. You're stronger than you look. Here, try a piece. Called an apple. You know, I just realized something. Even if my art career is a flop, I'll always have a friend to catch me on the way down. Aww. Yeah, 
Need a total of 16 green beans planted, and you need them all planted before the end of day three. Okay, we have exactly 16 planted. Hello, hello. Thank you so much for the follow, welcome in. We have exactly 16 planted, and it's day two. So what I'll do is I'm gonna plant some more tomorrow. Just to make sure, so we're not cutting it real close. Might as well grab some hardwood while I'm here. Okay, maple syrup. What do I do with this? Zach here, how's it going? Uh, it's called farming. Yeah, I got the secret note. Bring maple syrup to the secret woods. Yeah, yeah, I know it's not the statue. I was trying to trigger the bear. Oh, it has to be during the day. Okay, gotcha. Thank you. Matty's, good to see you again. Yeah, it's, uh... It's because it was nighttime when I came in. Okay. Uh, we should get a pig. I'll buy a couple green beans tomorrow, and then I think we'll get a pig. So we can start working on that truffle. I'm thinking... It's going to be probably <clears throat> probably close to fall by the time we finish the community center. I want to meet a bear in the woods at night. Yes. Yes, I do. Which secret notes you've done as it can be easy to forget after you've played a few times? Yeah. You ordered your cap for your niece's birthday, which was sip shipped 10 December and it arrived today. Jeez. They already issued a refund and everything. Wow. Okay. I don't think there's anything else I could do today. Do I have any more? pathways I have some of those we make a couple crystal pathways Ginger, how's it going? Good to see you again. Happy Friday. Sleep time before I pass out. <laughs> Path is cool mix like that. Yeah, that's my favorite. My favorite one overall. Anthro, good to see you again. The farm is going well. Level nine foraging, rain totem, and a cookout kit. 
Uh, that's new. It does, but we don't tell Tug that. Too late. Okay. Day three. <laughs> yes, it is, White Boat. Uh, what is this? Use this to create a cooking campfire, allowing you to cook on the go. What? Oh, when am I trying Dyson? I missed that comment. Oh, I'm sorry. I was too distracted by uh, people enjoying my pathway. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I'm probably going to try it soon, Dawn. I don't know when, but soon. I assumed you ignored it. I mean, yeah. Uh, Dauntless was kind enough to try and ruin my life by gifting me Dyson Sphere. So, we might do a stream of Dyson Sphere soon. Uh, so this is new. Does this mean you can cook without the kitchen? You'd be surprised how few times people say hi back. That's crazy, Ginger. Uh, this is super cool. All right. That is, it is sadly common across Twitch, yes. I forgot to check the weather and the luck. Clear and sunny all day tomorrow. It seems like common sense. Yes, I mean, yeah. I'm never gonna get a kitchen now. I mean, well, I do need a basement. That's the only thing, Jersey. I am gonna need a basement. It's another bad luck day. Dear Tug, thanks again for coming to my art show. It was such a success. I sold nearly all of my sculptures and everyone was so positive and encouraging. I hope to see you again soon, Leah. I haven't gotten my horse yet, Dawn. I've been very strapped for cash, all right? Uh, I have another letter here. All those hearts and no horse, yeah. Dear Tug, Here's a vegetable from the little garden I keep out back. You probably have more veggies than you know what to do with, but oh well. Thanks, Caroline. That's very nice of you. Uh, yeah, we're on day three of year two. Okay, before I do that stuff, I'm going to run over to... Oh, Pierre's is not open yet. Never mind. I want to run over and get a couple more... Green bean starters. It's so chill to settle into. Thank you for the lurk, Don. And thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Saw someone getting the cooking thing as a bundle reward from one of the new bundles. Oh, really? That would be lovely. Okay, so one, two, three. No. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we can get four more green beans to put there. Hi, chickens. You're actually both out here now. Yes, you're angry with me. I know. Relax. I'll give you some hay. I'm still working on planting grass. Oh, you were watering the hives. Yeah, the new update has a lot of quality of life stuff. I haven't gotten the the new content yet, but I'm uh, very excited for it. I'm a monster! What? Yeah, these are not, so Dawn, these aren't trees. These are, they're tea plants. So not only do they work as a hedge to block your cows in, but then at the end of the season, they also give you tea. And they don't go away in winter. So there you go. And they never degrade. 
So all you have to worry about is where your your gates are, and that's it. Big brain. I definitely came up with that all on my own. That was definitely all me. Uh, tomorrow is Kent's birthday. We know nothing about Kent. Uh, you do. Uh, so you, you, it's the, I think it's the two heart event. So it's not particularly difficult to get to. Uh, but that gives you access to tea stuff. So once you do that, then you can make the tea saplings and you can start doing the, the hedge fencing. Two hearts is easy, don't. Come on. Come on. <laughs> it's never easy. <laughs> uh, based on the... Well, Dawn, I will say, based on the questions about Abigail's father, then I would say that becoming friends with Caroline is easy. <laughs> uh, let's go grab some more beans. Tell him his path looks great, right? Ding, ding, ding. Speaking of... Oh, hi, Tug. Taking a break from your work? Oh, it's Wednesday, you son of a sea biscuit. I can't even go in to say hi, though. Kind of irritating. Ooh, bread. Thanks. You're welcome. Yes, you can hover over the text to see hearts. The other thing that you can do... Ooh, I should drop this off. So if you have an item in your inventory and you mouse over it, the community center icon will start to wiggle if you need it for a bundle, which is super helpful. That was from 1.4, I believe, was added. Uh, and that's awesome. <clears throat> Drop off the parsnip. We're doing pretty well. For not really, like, trying to grind this out, we're doing pretty well with the community center. Brewer's bundle's gonna take forever. We're like halfway to the aged row. So, we'll see. Maybe I'll go buy a cow, a uh, pig. Yeah, I think I'll go buy a pig. I don't take all my money, but... Jody, 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 Jody. Hi. I wish I could spend more time outside. There's so much work to do. I started wearing rubber gloves to keep my hands soft. The older you get, the more work you have to do to stay healthy. Can you get out of the way? Okay, bye. Oh, you're such a sweetheart. I really love this. Okay. Feels like rich people problems again. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to shut down gambling. You guys are... You guys are winning too much. You're supposed to be losing. You're not allowed to win at this. Ishi, what's going on? RV. RV. Hi. I'd like to get you know you better, Tug. Let's put aside our doctor-patient relationship. Harvey, please. Now, why don't you give this to Harvey? Thanks, that's very kind of you. Hey, six hearts with Harvey. Okay, so we can't do the green beans today because Pierre is closed because he's awful. <laughs> Makes it sound like he's a hedge fund. 
Listen. I have to maintain my economy, alright? Can't just have random people making millions of points. Hi, Penny. Are you being bad? Being snuggly? It's to protect the market. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, that. 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 Okay. Let's finish at least this pathway. Turn. There we go. I really... So I don't mind that that wood pathway curves like that. It's fine. But it's really ugly when you don't want it to do that. Boom. -boom. That there. That. That. <clears throat> bork, bork. Alice, how's it going? Good to see you. Happy, happy Friday. I hope you're doing well. That. Go to there. I'll put another one of those there. Fill that in. Okay. Pathway kind of fits the beachy feel, too, so have to be up at this time which would be fine if sleep didn't hate you thankfully i actually the other day i really struggled to sleep uh but thankfully last night i was so exhausted i passed out which was a blessing although uh we keep penny in a uh crate overnight in our bedroom and at 5 15 this morning she must have moved and she got her paw stuck in one in between two of the bars and started screaming bloody murder. So that was that was a pretty effective alarm clock. So, you know, didn't didn't really uh, get back to sleep after that. <laughs> This one. There, there. 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 Boom, boom, boom. Oh, no, I'm out. That's okay. I should have enough. Finish that up. And then do that. Okay. Thank you, Pathogen. Zintax, good after morning to you as well. Alrighty. Yeah, so this pathway is a mixture of cobblestone, stepping stones, and the crystal pathway, which is just multicolored cobblestone, basically. So, Dimodius, how's it going? Good to see you again. Happy Friday. Uh, so then I'm going to do... I will do some wood path over to the fishing ponds for now. Just so we don't get... grass growing in there.
All right, so we should have room for another fishing pond there, and we'll put one there, and then we might have room for one there. <clears throat> okay. Uh. Ba -ba 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 -ba. There's all that. How many days do those do those take to grow in? I feel like those should be grown in by now. I need one more tapper for that. Although that's just going to be this is a mahogany tree. Ah, uh, you know what? I might just cut this one down because I don't need another sap tapper, and that gives me hardwood. So what I'll do is we'll just keep planting that and getting more hardwood. <clears throat> uh, those are a new thing, Jinja, in 1.5. Those are fiber seeds. So you can plant fiber, uh, which is cool. It, they don't require watering. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it takes seven days to grow. So there we go. Uh, which is really nice. So then you can get a big, a big batch of fiber. Uh, which you end up needing a lot of, oh, hello. Uh, particularly later in the game, to plant grass and, and other stuff. So, thank you for the follow, by the way. Welcome in. Good for your diet as well. Yeah, that's that is accurate. Okay, we're at. Let me move this stuff over so those are together. Okay, so we're at six there. Plant some more. <clears throat> so we need 15 aged row for the fish farmers bundle. So that's, that's a thing. We should probably see Robin tomorrow and get another fish pond going. Probably, right? Uh, ba, 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 ba. I also forgot to go to the secret woods again. It's fine. <laughs> Get there eventually. Doo -doo. Should probably upgrade. Uh, the tappers on the mahogany trees just give you sap every single day. They give you four sap every single day. Uh, but the mahogany trees, when you cut them down, give you hardwood. So they're good to, they're good to plant for that. If you need a continuous flow of hardwood. Which is, that's awesome. Like being able to plant and grow, uh, hardwood is really, really nice. Uh, I also wanted to get some fruit trees. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, I'm going to move this path over. So this path goes straight down to here or here and then over and down. And then over here, I'm going to do an orchard and we'll do fruit trees over there. I think, I think that's probably the best bet. Probably. Alright. Let's go to sleep. Some stuff to do tomorrow. Really need kegs. Haven't leveled up farming. Like, at all. <laughs> Farming's only at 7. Is level 8 farming where you get kegs? Groove, happy Friday. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Sleep. I think it's eight. Okay. <clears throat> so hopefully once we get our first batch of uh, crops, we'll hit level eight and we can start making kegs. Beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Bad luck. I haven't had a good luck day yet in spring. Welcome to living off the land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. Fish Focus Eel. 
Eels can be caught from the ocean in the spring and the fall during rainy evenings. Mad on your current run, apparently you didn't pick the path where you can get more money for artisan goods. Ah, yes. That is an important path to take. <clears throat> uh, I'm probably gonna, you know what, I'm gonna do that now. I think I'm going to put the stable right here. So I'm going to... You had to pick the shepherd's trait? Uh, later... Yeah, in, in later in the game, I believe you can respec, right? We'll move those over there. <clears throat> uh, what does this stable take? The stable is a hundred hardwood and ten thousand gold. Something like that. Anybody remember? Let's go see Pierre first, and then uh, I think we'll get a horse. It's 10k. Okay. Five iron. Okay. Thank you, Bia. Hi, Penny. I don't have any gifts. I also didn't say hi to my animals, but whatever. Oh, I forgot. Today's Kent's birthday. I have no idea what to get Kent. Love you forever if you bring me an iron bar. And do, Haley. Come on. Give him a rock. <laughs> it fits your personality, Ken. Here you go. Hello, hello. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. You're really persistent. I guess I'm just surprised that anyone would be interested in talking to me. Not mean to smash your toes with a hammer. Hi, Pam. Ah, I had one too many caramel porters at the saloon last night. Go away. That sounds. Oh, come on. Probably couldn't feel it. <laughs> He's completely numb. Hi, Maru. I plan on spending a lot of time with my telescope this summer. Stop telling me how to live my life. Hey, cut it out. We're letting you live here free of charge until you finish school. It seems like you don't appreciate it at all. Stop trying to make me feel guilty. Nerdin, how's it going? I appreciate that you and Dad are here helping me out. But expecting me to dress the way you want is ridiculous. I'm not a little girl anymore, Mom. You're right. I'm sorry. Is someone there? <laughs> I swear, this house is haunted. Might have something to do with the shrine. Same. Okay. Four more beans. And we'll go grab, we need six iron bars. Five for the stable, one for Haley. Uh, six, I said, right? <laughs> I can count, it's fine. Ooh, wigglers. Get your wigglers out. <clears throat> okay.
It did, wife boat. Thank you very much. I just had... I think I had way too much coffee with nothing in my stomach. So thank you. Ian, how's it going? By the way, if you're just coming in, uh, please do wish wife boat a very happy birthday. It is her birthday today. And she deserves all the wishes in the world. Uh, yes. Have I said hi to my animals yet? I don't think I did. Hi, chickens. Burk, burk. Burk, burk. I guess I'll give you some hay since I haven't gotten grass going yet. 30 flirty and thriving. She is uh, 22 today. Imagine that. 23. Sorry. My math is... My math is off. Send you coffee direct delivery? Sure. Can we trade for like a Danish or something? I need something. Got a wicked sweet tooth. 23 forever? There you go. Nerve, how's it going? Good to see you again. Okay, that's done. Let's go see Robin. Should probably upgrade our pickaxe at some point too. You have no coffee in the house? My god. How? <laughs> You're slowly dying. That's... You make exceptions. <laughs> Ooh, cutscene. We're getting so many cutscenes, it's great. Hi, Tug. I was just cleaning some dust off my saw. That's an axe, Robin. Have you ever made anything out of wood? Sure. It is freezing out, Erden, yes. Great, then this blueprint should be a piece of cake for you. I think we've become good enough friends that I can trust you with my carpentry secrets. Here, let me show you the blueprints. Ooh. Ooh. You learned how to craft flute block and drum block. That's how people get so many of those. Okay. I didn't know you could craft those. You can use these to get creative on your farm. You're brewing on a cold? Ah. Well, glad to have you here, Nerf. 11 Fahrenheit and the feels like temp is negative seven. It feels good to be able to decorate your house with things you've made yourself. Girly girl, how's it going? Happy Friday. Uh, construct farm buildings. Move building. Generous John's are... <laughs> That's a lot of bits. Not thanks. for you, Tug. This is for wife Boat. Happy birthday. John's are, thank you so much for the bits. I appreciate it. Wife Boat appreciates it as well uh i think i'm gonna put the i think i'm gonna move the chicken coop over here it is wife boat's birthday indeed indeed uh do i want it there uh, <clears throat> not a super fan of that Hmm. Space it out. No, that takes up grass spot. If I put it there, that's dumb. All right, we'll leave it there for now. <clears throat> I might move these. Maybe we'll bring the coop down here and put the barn next to it. Once I move this stuff out of the way. Hampy's emotes are incredible. 
the uh, the banana emotes are awesome, and that that's coming from me. <laughs> Bananas are terrible. Oh right, thank you, free hugs. I did completely forget about that. Okay, stables going in. Okay, I'll start working on your new stable first thing tomorrow morning. Boom. Hi, Demetrius. Have some milk. That was very thoughtful of you. Three hearts with Demetrius. Yay. It is a huge compliment. For me to say that I like anything to do with bananas is a huge compliment. It just tells you how good Hampy is. Okay. Let's go see Haley. Give her her iron bar. Where is she? Haley. It's locked. Mm -hmm. She might be at the beach, maybe? Sometimes the flowers speak to me. Each one has a different story to tell. <laughs> I can't take bananas yet. Asterio, how's it going? Bananas were ruined for me at a young age, so. Repeatedly over the years. Oh, I gotta check for urchins for our blobfish, too. Yeah, the, the smell of banana has scarred me forever, so. Uh, sure, Asterial, absolutely. Haley's not at the beach, she's probably up at the park, then. Hi, Willy. Uh, all that stuff while we're here. Okay, we still got 8,000, even after spending 10 grand on the stables. Which isn't bad. And I haven't even fished yet. Which is crazy. All right, we have two days for that. Lefay! What the crap? No eat bits for Tug. For the wife Bo's birthday. Make sure you get her a great dessert because dessert is best thing. <laughs> Lefay, thank you so much for the bits and the birthday wishes. Thank you, thank you. We'll get her something good. I'll force her to go over macros today. Two boys that walked to school together since we got a ton of snow on Monday. Instead of walking on the cleared sidewalks, they were climbing on mounds of packed snow and walking over them. Nice. That's awesome. That smell. Come closer. It's not every day I get to speak to a human. Looks like you've got a little forest magic in you. There's so much, I think, unintended innuendo in this game. Now, about my note. Did you bring the good stuff? Oh, that smell. This is really sweet stuff. It's my favorite sauce. It makes me very happy. <laughs> that we're just taking a talking bear in stride. I mean, in fairness, the Junimos are basically sentient apples, so. <laughs> you made a friend today, Tug. You got seven inches of snow last weekend, maybe another four this weekend. I think we're supposed to get a bunch on Monday. I've got something special I want to show you. You got two feet? Wow. 
The bear left you with his special knowledge. Salmon berries and blackberries are now worth three times the gold. Let's go. Thank you, Mr. Bear. Doo -doo. That cutscene was unbearable. Ugh. Oh boy. Oh, I wonder if there's any spring onions. Groan inducing puns are always the best. Are they though? Are they though? Are they though? <clears throat> Probably gonna get hit by the same snow. Yeah, I haven't looked to see what the pathing is, Bishop. You'll generally you guys get a little less because I'm further north. I'm also like kind of nestled in the hills, so we generally get a little bit more than than those around us, but not looking forward to that. And they sent out an email saying the kids will have school. No more snow days. Now they're just going to do full remote. You need to regularly practice your guitar. Patch. Think about. Okay. <clears throat> Think about how many hours that you have put into learning guitar. Do you want all that time to be wasted? Or do you want to spend like... 20 minutes just making sure you don't lose all that time time is the most valuable commodity in the world so take that 20 minutes and make sure that you don't waste all those hours from before and practice your freaking guitar man come on think about when your kids are grown and you can just sit down and jam with them that'll be so much fun so keep practicing don't waste your time. Okay. Welcome back, Patch. All right, the cows have gone to bed. Nice. So let's plant a couple pieces of grass. And hopefully it propagates overnight so they don't eat it immediately see what happens. They probably will, but... Need me to commentate your life. That is not a service I offer, but hey. Why does it have to be minus 22C? Woof. That is cold. We're going to keep the leak for George. Stable will go up to Mara. Put that stuff away. Put that stuff away. That away. Oh, we need that for Haley. Let's go see if we can find Haley now. Because it's only 7.40, so she should be either at home. Does she go? It's Thursday. Does she go to the tavern during the week or no? She just goes home, right? We know Clint's there. Haley's not here. Okay. She's probably at home then. I should probably crack geodes too. Oh, come on. Really? Alright. We'll give her... We'll get her that tomorrow. Can't forget. Because that's good friendship points and good money for an iron bar. Try and grab a couple river fish. Whoops. Misclick. 
I did not. I completely forgot his birthday, Timonius. I knew it was his birthday, but I ended up not getting him anything. You got your human interaction out of the way for the day? <laughs> nice. That's always a good a good marker for the day. I no longer have to people. <clears throat> I've done my one people for the day. Yeah. How are you supposed to panhandle that? You can't get to that opposite shore. Not that it's ever really worth it, but... Yeah, I mean, the only... It didn't impact my day-to-day -day life that much, Jinja. Other than my kids being home from school, which then kind of cascaded into deconstructing the rest of my schedule because that modifies everything but as far as like how much I interact with people outside of my house it didn't really change <laughs> your husband's the opposite yeah there's been I mean wife boat has just gotten significantly busier at the hospital with less ability to take time off and stuff Yeah, we got a chest at home. Geodes. All right, we'll crack. We'll crack geodes tomorrow. Okay, for the first month or two. Now, just look forward to this to any small trip you can do. Yeah. Yeah. It didn't. It didn't really. Like, the cascade effect didn't really, like, crash into me until September. I was okay for the spring with the way they structured initially, with the way they initially structured home learning for them uh, back in March of last year. Didn't impact my schedule all that much. But then once September hit and it started, they changed the schedule and then it started, like cascading and really affecting like my day-to-day -day routine and my ability to do things now i just want quiet uh okay sleep you're more of an extrovert than an introvert yeah i'm not <clears throat> so not being able to do stuff has been has not been especially great for mental health yeah Working from home messed up your rhythm. Yeah, 100%. Didn't talk to too many people outside the house before all this stuff. Get out just as often as you did before, which isn't much. Yeah. You're a dental tech. Oh, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> That's, it's totally fair, Ginger. I mean, it's definitely totally fair to be freaked out about stuff like that. So, Yeah, nerdin'. That's totally fair. Uh, thunder and lightning tomorrow. Ooh, that means we'll get a battery and we can put it in the uh, tunnel. It's a good luck day. It's Friday. We'll check the traveling merchant. Uh, don't have enough money for Krobus. We can go see what, what Krobus has. Does his... Other than having Iridium sprinklers on Fridays... Does he have a big variety of... Does his inventory change week to week? Like, does he get random stuff, or is it just the same stuff? I've pretty much only gone, ever gone to Krobus for Iridium Sprinklers. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> Those are almost done. Oop, grass pop propagated a little bit. Morning, cows. What? Why did they go back? <laughs> Josh, good morning, buddy. Happy Friday. I hope you're doing well. Uh, 
a slightly different thing each day of the week? Is it consistent week to week or is there a variation? Hi, chickens. Ooh. Where's the other one? Are you stuck in the tunnel again? Oh. Yep. All right. Oh, yep. It's consistent? Okay. So really... Iridium sprinklers on Fridays are the big thing. <clears throat> okay. We'll actually get some mayo today. Eh, it'll be fine. Hello, hello. Eventually. It'll eventually be fine. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Bum, bum. I gotta get rid of this pathway to... Things to do. First traveling merchant. Then we'll go see George and give him a leak. Then we'll go see Clint and crack some geodes. Then I don't know. <laughs> Something. Maple seed bruschetta, parsnip seeds, ice cream. Spaghetti. Needlepoint flour. What do we really need? Uh, at this point, I think... I think I'm going to save up for a pig at this point. That's probably going to be my next... My next big purchase. Although we could do the first... What's the first house expansion? To get a kitchen. What does that take? Because that might be a good idea too. I need to find some kind of hobby other than shopping. I've decided I want to expand my horizons. Maybe I should learn to play the mini harp. 7,500, yeah, and? Oh, that's exactly what I needed. <laughs> I'm so happy. What's the door go to behind her room? I don't know. Uh, generally, stuff like that will be unlocked during hard events, so we'll have to wait and see. It's for a hard event? Sims, how's it going? Welcome in. Ten thousand and four hundred and fifty wood. Okay. Uh, that's doable. I've never. I don't think I have ever cooked a single thing in this game. <laughs> I get the kitchen just on my way to get the basement, basically. <laughs> That was a good one. I think we've already turned that in. Yeah. We might... We might have gotten everything out of... Uh, out of the regular geodes. Unless there's like one or two super rare things. Earth crystal... Petrified slime, we definitely have. Ooh, that's new. That's... That's a rock. Lemon stone? That might be no... Ooh, gold? Alright. Ooh, that's new. Helvite. I think... I've already turned into salt. Alright, let's check... The museum. Turn some stuff in. Donate. Boom. 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 Okay. Still have a lot to, to get. <clears throat> okay. Have we we maxed out Elliot, right? Yeah, Elliot's max. 
Who do we need? Sebastian, we need one more heart with. I have some frozen tears at home. Uh, Caroline, Jody, Robin. Harvey, we also need to push up. And Maru. Maru, Shane, Alex, and Sam were way behind on. Let's go see George real quick, because we have a leak for him, and that's his favorite. Hi, George. My grandpap was a farmer. It's a respectable profession. Have a leak. This is my favorite thing. Thank you. Six hearts with George. Let's go. Hi, Harvey. Does Harvey... Have we given Harvey cheese? There's a... There's a couple people who do not like dairy stuff. Okay, he liked mayo, so... My guess is he'll probably like... He did not like bread. Hmm. Are you sure this is healthy? You liked mayo. And you're gonna give me crap over cheese? You don't like cheese and bread? Harvey. 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 Uh, yeah, I planted four more, Bishop. So I think we have 20 total. I don't trust, Tigers fan, I don't trust anybody that doesn't like cheese and bread. That's just not okay. Yo, potato, potato leek soup, Josh, is, uh, is exceptional. That's probably my favorite soup. King! My goodness. I've been doing squats for over a month now. Because you told me to, and you didn't tell me to stop. I hope you're happy, Tug. I got a butt that feels like a slab of halloumi now and it won't quit. <laughs> King, thank you so much for 13 months. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Happy Friday, buddy. Connie, happy Friday. He loves coffee and wine, but cheese is bad. Okay. Okay. I'm doing well, King. How you doing, buddy? How the devil are you? Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Sell that. I'll keep the leak. We'll keep, keep gifting George some leaks. That Kraken. Mama KL, how's it going? Happy Friday. I hope you're doing well. Since we still have to give our animals hay, we might as well keep the silo going. Should probably get another silo if we're going to keep expanding our animal population as well. Okay. Uh, I got to move those preserved jars. I think I'm going to move... Hmm. <laughs> I think I'm going to move all my my cheese and mayo makers. <clears throat> Ooh, maple syrup. Oh, we got our first batch of honey, too. And it looks like the parsnips came in. That's awesome. We already turned one into the community center, right? All right, parsnips are in. Got our first batch of regular honey. Uh, we need the flowers to come in so we can get some higher value honey, though. Alright, let's move you. Move you, move you, move you. Actually, this chest I'm going to put over by the fishing pond. Mayo makers? They churn the mayo for you, wife boat. Come on. Do, 
Boom. Wait, didn't I have... All right, so let me move... Can I make this blue? Blue. Uh, no, lighter blue. <laughs> Gosh, you can churn my... No, I'm gonna... Uh... Do, do, do. We'll move that over to the new... Chest. Over here. Okay. Uh, don't worry about it. I didn't really say anything. So it's not worth talking about. Uh, that, that, and that. Do I need parsnips for anything? Do I have a quest? For, oops. Do I have a quest for parsnips? No. Okay. So we can sell. Sell our parsnips. Let's sell cheese, mayo, and milk. For now. Actually, not the milk. I'll turn that into cheese real quick. Uh, and we can sell the wild honey as well. The quest for parsnips. Yeah. So once these stop, once these preserved jars are done, I'll move those over by the fish ponds. Uh, we had those here for the bat cave, but Alice, how's it going? I'm doing well. It's Friday. I'm streaming. I'm happy. <laughs> Can I have a kiss, please? Tell that to Twitch. <clears throat> Three times they have said, nah, dude. So, we'll get there. It doesn't matter when. It'll happen. It's a secret. You can't tell anybody, Dimodius. Hmm. Both are playing Stardew. <laughs> How do you watch both while being discreet at work, right? You don't. You just embrace it. Boop, boop, boop. All right, let's plant more grass over here. Try and get this to spread. The animals should be turning in for the night, so. Okay. Uh, we still haven't gotten any anything for the blobfish. Show the streams to your boss, they'll understand, right? Easy peasy. Boom, boom. <laughs> Nerdin is, uh, is well acquainted with the process. It is, uh, open them in a different window, yeah. I generally have, uh, during the rest of my day, I generally have on my side monitor over here, I'll have four windows up <laughs> with uh, different friends streaming. Because I can't pick a favorite. Okay, so we're halfway halfway to the aged row. Thanks, I hate it. Uh, once she's done with that, I'm going to get another fishing. I'm going to get another pond. Because I want that quest. Oh, no, I need a pig. Oh, there's too much. Too much. Too many things to do. Not enough money to do it with. Not enough money in the world for the things I need to do. Okay.
Hopefully. Hopefully these crops start coming in soon. We got the parsnips in. I wonder if we should replant stuff. Where the parsnips were. I don't think I have any seeds. I have rice. We could plant rice. You don't need to water rice. Let me do that. Because we could plant that along the water. <clears throat> So maybe we'll do that over here. I can't put it here. I don't want to farm. I mean, <laughs> that's kind of why I did the beach farm. <laughs> to be fair. To be totally fair. That is kind of wide at the beach farm. Okay. Oh, does the water not hit those? Why though? These are too far from the water? Crap. I just wasted those. Well, we got a couple. Crop murder. Listen. Yeah, those are too far away. <laughs> I play a farming game not to farm. There's other things you can do, like fish. All right. I've barely, I have barely fished. All right. I don't want to hear it. I've barely fished, Nerdin. Come on. Dude, Wombus. Stop having miracle babies. <clears throat> this is the second immaculate conception. Wombus, Wombus was the only cow that we had. We now have two cows because Wombus gave birth. It was the, it was bo it was bovine intervention. Turn off pregnancy. Yeah. Wombus, please. Wombus. <laughs> uh, so Wombus had, uh, a, a miraculous <laughs> cowception. Uh, so we have another cow named Jesus, uh, as you do. So now we have another one from, from Wombus. Uh, <laughs> the second coming. <laughs> I don't know if we could fit that. Wombus sneaks out at night or the mayor sneaks in. <laughs> J2. We'll call him J. Junior. <laughs> and then we need to turn off pregnancy, is what we need to do. <laughs> because I don't want any more cows. Oh, it's raining today. Neutral spirits. Turn off pregnancy. Yes. Yes. Hey, we got a horse. I'm really craving a fresh apricot. I haven't been able to find one at the store, and I'm asking you. I'll pay you well for it, Emily. Uh, we'll have to hope for the bat cave, I guess, for that. We need to name our horse. Okay. I will let I will let you all name name the horse. Name that horse. Mr. Ed. 
<sighs> We've had really good luck with the random fra Frabo. <laughs> I've just been doing na random names, Nerdin. So we have uh, Wumbus, Chunnel, Chotso are the random names we got so far. Uh, glue. <laughs> Waffles, how's it going? <clears throat> Elmer. Uh, Nicotine. Oh, God. One of your cow's random names was trash. <laughs> Frabo. Brurda. Congus. That, somebody remember Congus? Because we're totally naming our pig that. Mr. Fast, beware of nerd, good to see you again. Yay or nay? <laughs> nice. Oh no, I know what I'm gonna. Okay, that's done. Uh, we need to put the sailor's cap. There we go. No, wait, that doesn't... Hang on. There we go. That's more... That's more the Yohor Serino style. I'll wear the sailor's cap. <clears throat> Thought I was going to put the mining pan on the horse. That's true, but then I named it Yo Horse Arino. We'll see. We have to find a more ridiculous hat. Ooh, burgers. Yo. Beach burgers. It needs a cowboy hat. Yes. That is that is accurate. Oh, you can open gates on the horse. You can talk to people on the horse now. So good. Yeah, I'm gonna go see Hat Mouse. Okay. Wumbus? No more pregnant. Jesus? No pregnant. <laughs> Jay Jr., I can't turn off pregnancy on a baby. That's a phrase. Yeah, you can keep them from breeding. <laughs> nope. Yeah, you can. You can turn off. You can toggle pregnancy. <laughs> bark, bark. Bork, bork. A bork bork. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, yo horse arena. Uh Dr. Steele, what's going on? It is a nice horse hat. I want to see if we can't find a better horse hat for him, though. Uh, so it's a work in progress. Ooh, a farm warp totem. Yo. So we'll go see... We'll go see... Uh, hat mouse real quick. <clears throat> You don't know how you feel about being saddled with it? Do -do 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 -do. 
Good old cap, a lucky bow, butterfly bow, mouse ears, tiara, Santa hat, daisy. Official cap, watermelon, a blue bonnet, sailor's hat. Spring onions. <laughs> Horse boat. <laughs> I will remember this. <clears throat> you just gotta play Stardew, Josh. No hit the skull mines. It'll be fine. <laughs> All the source tells me is that Tug Stream isn't even the main event. Nice, Chubsy. Able to use your horse as fishing bait? I mean, with this bonnet on, it's gonna it's gonna pull in all kinds of stuff. All right, I want to get some some fishing done today, so we gotta hoof it. Hate the random spots that you can't fit through on the horse. Oh, I wanted to grab a frozen tear for Sebastian. Okay. <clears throat> your horse brings all the fish to your rod. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> Hi Nerdin. Happy Friday. TGIF, right? Maybe it's Nabeline. <laughs> nice. Well played, Clavicus. Well played. Everyone here would be timed out in Mork's chat, right? And maybe he was born with it. I like to imagine that Yohor Serino is wearing the bonnet because he's got his hair up in curlers. Good thing you won't start purging people for their bad buns. Yet. I wanted to make another lightning rod before we had a thunderstorm, but it's all right. It's all good. Uh, actually, can I make one? <laughs> that I Yeah, I can. Iron bar refine quartz and batwings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have made another one this morning. Puns make the world go round. Yeah. <clears throat> Man, it's cold. I always get really, really warm when I'm streaming. Plus, my pellet stove is right next to my office, but I am still cold. Friend keeps saying, cheer up, man, it could be worse. You could be stuck underground in a hole full of water. I know he means well. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Classic. Well, well, well. Why not wear more than a t-shirt if cold? I have a sweatshirt on my the back of my chair, but I'm fishing, Kelly Pot. That requires laser focus. I'll have you know. Come on, pay attention. Listen, I always pay attention. In everything that I do, 
I am nothing but focused. <laughs> it's freaking winter. Because it gets, it gets very hot in here. I feel, this office is very small. Hang on. Ready? Hand it on the back of my chair. I do have my Nook blanket here, too. Exclamation point Nook merch. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that was the other random name that we got. Our dog's name is Snetchly. Nurk merch. Much better. Okay. To wear a winter dress whenever you feel like it. Can't wait for your nook blanket to arrive. I'm super impressed with them, Via. Uh, Lexi's, the, the logo that Lexi made for the team is incredible. And it printed so well on the blanket. Fiat, what's going on? A uh, pellet stove? Uh, so, basically, uh, if you have a lumber mill, the offcut sawdust and all that stuff from the lumber production goes through an extruder. So it gets compressed down under very high pressure and extruded out into small pellets. Uh, so these are highly compressed sawdust that are very, very high energy. So when you burn them, they kind of open back up and expand again, and it gives off a lot more uh, energy than it would if you were just burning a little piece of wood that size. So a pellet stove has a big hopper. So I put, I can put up to 80 pounds of pellets into the hopper, and then it slowly, using an auger, just drops pellets into a little burn pot, and it keeps a fire going, has a blower motor and everything. It's really, really efficient and super warm and nice, and you get that, that, wood heat versus the really dry like forced air heat that you know, most of the u.s has um i love my pellet stove i fished up a dead body yes fiat welcome in by the way <clears throat> yeah and the pellets burn at like 98 percent efficiency or something they are pretty pricey pathogen <gasps> oh no Oh no, I don't have any! Hang on. This is a legendary. No, no, I don't have any! Crap! I forgot, it was raining in spring. Uh, so when we got the pellet stove was six, six years ago. Uh, so at that time, we have to use propane. There's no natural gas or anything that runs out here because we're out in the middle of nowhere. And uh, <laughs> I like to think that you manifested that legendary. Yeah. Uh, so when we first moved out here, propane was over four dollars a gallon. So to heat the house for the winter would have cost us well north of $4,000. So we ended up taking that money that we would have spent on the propane and getting a nice pellet stove plus two tons of pellets and used that to heat the house in the first winter. And that basically paid for itself by the end of the next year. So now we do a mix of the pellet stove and uh, the forced air and it, it works really well. Propane and propane accessories, exactly. House's oil heat. Yeah, it can get super pricey. Particularly when we have a cold snap like this. Yeah. Uh, it's That's 4,000 pounds. So they come in 40 pound bags. So 18-ish eight, kilograms per bag. Uh, and then there's 50 bags per pallet. For, per pallet. So it's 2,000 pounds or... Uh, whatever that is. Oh, oh, money. Uh, it depends on what type of pellets that you could get. You get 
Typically, they range anywhere from $210 up to $290 per ton. <laughs> Pellet pallets to shroot bucks. Still take over five years. Yeah. Same as Stanley Nichols. Exactly. Yeah, it's not that bad. Uh, so we'll go through like two tons every winter. So it's not that bad. And if we burn it from like November 1st through like April, so. Convert it to Dogecoin. <laughs> yeah. Depends on the day. Right now, I don't think you want to do that conversion. Blarg, what's going on? I do, we do have an old home, uh, and just accessibility of affordable heating solutions, basically. At some point, I'm probably going to move it down into the basement so that when it burns, we get more, like, radiated heat. But right now, it blows into my office, into our great room, and into my kids' bedrooms, so. Auto key, it's, that's the new meme investment. As of late last night, uh... The the meme stonks, shut up, have gone into Dogecoin. I hooked it twice. You gotta be kidding me. No, 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 no. Oh, I was so close. Crap. It's a pellet stove, yeah, yeah. Uh, kitten, I generally go till, uh, at least noon Eastern time. So another 90 minutes, two hours. Never heard of someone still using it. They're, they're really popular around here. Uh, when you get out, particularly if you get out into the country, wood stoves and pellet stoves are, are used a lot. Because getting, getting gas products, propane, natural gas, oil, uh, gets very pricey. Had a wood stove growing up? We did too. Geothermal is my end game, Ginger. That is 100% my end game, is getting geothermal. I have a friend who does geothermal installs and I would love to get geothermal uh, big time imagine that some people who invested a few hundred dollars into dogecoin for the memes are very happy right now the best part of the whole reddit thing is that the hardcore wall street bets people are not selling they refuse to sell <laughs> you have geothermal where you live and you pay around $30 a month oh that's so nice <laughs> Because we split between the pellet stove and then uh, we do uh, some of the propane heat in the furnace overnight, uh, I think throughout the winter we're around like $110 a month, which is really not bad for heating. Alright, uh, almost 10, so we'll catch one more. From the Midwest? I think there's a lot of people in the Midwest. Now. It's direct withdrawal from his account. Okay. Let's go sell. Ah, oh, I'm so mad. I should have... I should have made a trap bobber. I wasn't thinking. I totally forgot that you can catch that legendary on rainy days in the spring. I am bummed. I don't know how routine years ago for mental health reasons, but sometimes you hear funny stuff about it, yeah. I just have, like, the way I use Reddit, Josh, is just my, like, I use my home page, basically, which is just, like, a couple D&D &D subreddits and, uh, like, uh, the Southampton subreddit, just to monitor stuff. It's a completely different experience. <laughs> Used a wood burning stove, seen those pellet burners. 
at the fair and stuff. Yeah, I, if you've been around them, you've been around them, I think is basically what what it shakes out to. They're really cool. I uh, I had never heard of them before we moved out here. So... But now I love it and uh, use it all the time. You're old and don't understand. I think that's fair. Used to do the endless scrolling for hours and hours was not good. Yeah, if you curate, you can have a very, very pleasant Reddit experience. If you curate your, uh, your subreddits, it's a very different experience. Uh, do I need that? No, I'll get rid of that. Sell that leak. I'm going to sell this stuff. Sell that. I'll sell the spring onion. Although the spring onion doesn't sell particularly well. Same with Twitter. Yeah. Yup. 100%. Good curation can help maintain a healthy, a healthier social media balance. That stuff away. That away. That away. That away. Put my hat away. And we gotta do. Hello, hello. Do I wanna get a pig first or do I wanna do another fishing pond? Eesh. Thank you so much for the follow, by the way. Welcome in. Yeah, like, I say I live in the country. Like, we don't, really. <laughs> like, I can be to... I can be to New York City in, like, an hour. And in Philadelphia in a little bit more than that. So I'm not really out in the middle of nowhere. But we're enough in the middle of nowhere. That it feels like the country. Get the dang pig. I know. I need a hundred more dollars. It's a good humor day. Greetings, it is I, Queen of the Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook. This week's dish, pizza. There's a reason pizza is a timeless culinary classic. You've got an artisan golden brown crust, you've got a tangy garlic-infused marinara sauce, and you're topping it all with mouth-watering three-cheese blend. And we're just getting started. Let's throw some fresh pepper and tomato on the top. Oh my. You already know how to cook pizza. Hey, you've got a battery. Because a lot of the artists use it, but it's a terrible site for gallery purposes. Yes. And unfortunately, one of the best options as far as uh, imagery goes is uh, Instagram which I don't want anything to do with Facebook or their products. <clears throat> There's a couple other options, but none of them have a good community or a large enough community around them to, to really use that much, unfortunately. put most of your art on Instagram. Yeah, that's kind of, that's one of the only options, unless you use like uh, Artist Nation, uh, DeviantArt. There's, there's a few other options, but as far as like accessible social media for, for pictures and art, that's kind of the only option. Is this ready? No. Of course not. I forgot my horse. Acts like you're crazy when you tell them you don't use Facebook. I've never really used it. Uh, I did use Instagram for a while, but I stopped recently because I don't want to be a part of Facebook's machinations. So. It's very difficult to avoid, but I do what I can to. Do you use Messenger, though, because that's what they use? Yeah. 
You have my phone number, right? Tulip girl. Alright, those. Okay, we have this tulip for Evelyn. Oh, we got potatoes. Okay, let's cross our fingers for gold star potatoes. Yes. Okay. So we got gold star potatoes. We got regular potatoes for the community center. That'll finish the quality crops bundle. And then we just need a green bean and cauliflower for the spring crops bundle. We'll be good to go. <clears throat> Facebook is bound for everybody's mental health. There's lots of independent studies out there that show that. <laughs> Uh, we can sell those potatoes. Let's get cheese going. Eggs. Alright, let's go hit the community center so I don't accidentally sell the stuff that I need to keep. We can hit the traveling merchant as well. At a quest on the bulletin board, Lewis left. You had to ship 100 potatoes. I have that for uh, green beans, Flamingo. That's why I have a ton of green beans planted. Hi, George. Aren't you cold? They don't make sweaters like they used to. It's spring, George. Uh, this is my favorite thing. Thank you. Would rather potatoes, they're way faster. Yes. I agree with you. A hundred green beans is going to take a little while, but at least the green beans continue to produce. I mean, that's... That's something. Okay, that's... Quality crops. Boom! In its current form, Facebook is corrosive. Yes, I mean, that's that's also a thing. Ooh, preserves jar. Nice. Okay, so age row is coming along. Brewer's bundle. We need to get kegs, which requires one more level of farming. And then that stuff. And we'll get the greenhouse. We shouldn't be that that far off the greenhouse, actually. Okay, I'm going to go see Pierre real quick. Sell. Oh, cutscene. Is that Harvey? I didn't know Harvey did the workout. What is happening? All right, that concludes our aerobics class. Are you breaking a sweat? <laughs> yes. <laughs> is this a Zumba class? Yes. Uh, it, Tug, were you watching me? Uh, how embarrassing. I, I didn't want anyone to know, least of all you. I'm just trying to stay healthy. As you get older, it requires more effort. I'm not in very good shape, though. I can hardly keep up with them. Fari. Are we throwing hands? <laughs> I'm romancing everybody, all right? So calm down. Why does he stand in the back? He's hiding, yeah. <clears throat> Look, don't don't tell everyone in town that I'm doing dance aerobics, okay? I can't promise that, Harvey. <laughs> I won't tell. Thanks, Doug. I appreciate that. Okay.
Ooh, that's good money. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, hey, Kent. Kent, Kent, where are you going? I don't know what to do with myself now that I'm back. I'm used to having more structure in my day. How about a burger, buddy? Hey, now this is a really great gift. Thanks. Uh, that seems like it worked out. Frazwar. That was not a love. That was just a like. All right. Fraz Hawar. How's it going, buddy? Did you get your, uh, your things done? Have a good meeting, nerd. Uh, let's go get... Actually, let's go... I just want to see what the traveling merchant has. Real quick. And then... We shall buy a pig. We shall buy... An pig. Some things and stuff is done. Just deciding on dinner tonight. Nice. Beer, tulip, bug meat, summer spangle, red plate, bok choy. Coffee is summer, right? I can't buy a coffee bean right now because I need to buy a pig. So, all right. Off to the piggy. Off to the piggy, piggy, piggy. Did you, uh... I got busy yesterday afternoon. Did you finish uh, Black and White for us? Sh oh, Shane cutscene. Shane? Nice. Oh, dear. This song sounds like RimWorld music by the way. Tug, can you do something? He's out cold. 15-year-old, he was so happy. Yeah. <laughs> what? KP! You know what you did. Shane, what's the matter with you? All you do anymore is mope around in your room and drink beer. You wouldn't understand. I'm worried. What's your plan? Don't you ever think about the future? Plan? Hopefully I won't be around long enough to need a plan. Jazz, I'm sorry. See, like, Shane's heart events are so good, and then you marry him, and he just... Like, he keeps his room here cleaner than he does the room that he gets in your house. It's so frustrating. Like, he cleans up this room. Clean up your own damn room, Shane. Anyway, we now have a pig. Just came in for me to do that. Uh, what? Crap. What was the name for the pig? We had a random one come up that was great for a pig. Does anybody remember what it was? Congus. Score. Thank you. It was Congus. Congus the pig. Pork chop. Great. I'll send little Congus to his new home right away. Coral Happy Friday. You should search Marnie's dresser. Oh. That's a hammer. 
You rummage through Marnie's dresser. It's mostly long dresses, but there's a pair of brown suspenders in here as well. I wonder who those belong to. Never name animals you intend to turn into bacon. Right? Uh, oh, I do have a little for it. Are we maxed with Leah? Yeah. If you ever find any interesting looking driftwood, I could use it. Oh, speaking of driftwood. Thank you, Leah. We need to go to the beach. I need two uh, urchins for my blobfish. And it's been like two seasons and I have not found an urchin. <laughs> Wombus and Congus are going to fight it out? Probably. Not out of the realm of possibility. They have to share a bedroom now, so... Come on! Nothing but coral. I get, ur I get <laughs> urchins all the time, and then as soon as you need them, nothing. Extra beach forage towards the end of the month. Do we? Uh, let's pop in and see Willie. Wonder if Willie likes a good burger. Hi, Willie. Let me sell this stuff first. What are we at? Seven out of ten. Uh, burger. Hmm. You like stuff like this, huh? What? What? You disliked a burger? Okay. <laughs> Willie is a body snatcher? Right, Orca? The man likes fried calamari, but a burger is a step too far. Hi, Elliot. Oh, Tug, I was hoping you'd show up. It's always a pleasure to see you. Not made of fish, maybe? That's a possibility. Uh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Let's go to the tunnel, and we can open the... Uh, door thing with the battery. Go for a burger anytime, right, Fraz? What I'm saying. Dunk it in the sea and then he'll love it. <laughs> <clears throat> I am Mags, but I I keep forgetting to do this. So it worked. The lockbox swings open. Inside, there's a note. Your first task, bring a rainbow shell to the train platform. Leave it in the box. Mr. Key. Gas station burger. I keep forgetting to keep, uh... Oh, let's go through the quarry, actually. Auntie, how's it going? Welcome in. Happy Friday. Di Ooh, double diamonds. Double diamonds. <clears throat> okay. Uh, wasn't there a... Is it something you have to craft? Wasn't there a new horse whistle or something? That was added in 1.5? Is that an item you get from a quest, or is it something you have to craft? Does anyone know? Because I always leave my horse behind accidentally. I didn't go get the rainbow shell. You get it later, much later? Okay. Okay. 
Let me go back, get the rainbow shell, and then go from there. Boop, 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 boop. Do, 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 do. Bork, bork. Uh, I kept the rainbow shell, right? I know I did. There we go. Let's go take care of that, and then we'll grab the other stuff. Horse! Yo, horse Arino. Let's ride. Should also probably go back to the desert at some point. For stuff. Seb Dan, how's it going? Good to see you again. Happy Friday. I gotta make more lightning rods, because I know uh, Maru is a big fan of batteries, right? So, and we'll also need them once we can get the recipe to craft iridium sprinklers. Those take batteries as well. So... It's an empty box. You throw the shell into the box. Immediately, a note falls down from the raptors above. Well done. Your next task... 10 beets inside the mayor's fridge. Oh, I don't have beets. Are beets summer? I don't think I have beets. Or do I get... No, that's rhubarb from the desert, right? Beets are summer. Oh, my memory is awful. Yeah. Let's do that stuff. Let's sell that since I just spent all my money. Beats are fall. Okay, thank you, Auntie. Uh, the tulip we're going to keep for Evelyn. The diamonds we'll hang on to for now. They do make good gifts, even though they're good money. Preserves jar. Okay, we're at 10. We only need five more. Five more aged row. They are from Sandy. Okay. So if we get, if we end up getting the greenhouse by uh, summer, we'll get some beets and uh, plant them in the greenhouse. So we can get that done sooner. Uh, let's check the bat cave real quick. Nothing. I'm hoping we get an, uh, an apricot from there. Cause we need one for, for that quest. Diamonds. Stuff. That stuff. Okay. Let's go to sleep. Sleep. Farming? Oh, come on. Why isn't farming leveling up? Nuts. Uh, give me two seconds. Real quick. I just need to stretch my legs and go pee and grab a little more coffee. Bings. Happy Friday. Great to see you. Uh, so I'll be right back in two minutes. Now's your chance. Uh, if you can get up, walk around a little bit, stretch your legs, do some stretches, grab a snack, grab a drink. I'll be right back in two minutes. See you soon. On the plus side, dropping into the spikes gave me enough soul to, uh, to heal one. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, hello. Oh, you're weird. You're weird. You have a bag on your head. Shut up, boy. Throw you in the water. Hmm. Interesting. The mayor, Mayor Lewis, runs a cult. Now this cult has trapped people in Stardew Valley and they can't get away. So, Mayor Lewis is under investigation for running a cult. 
Clint is an undercover cop who is in Stardew Valley to uncover and get evidence against Mayor Lewis. That's why when you go to get work done from him, he doesn't actually do it. He ships it out. That's why it takes so long. That's why he can't smelt ore for you. That's why his hours are so short. That's why he's such a useless blacksmith. Mm -hmm. Teruvio. What is it? Jurassic Park. Why yeah. Why do you gaze at me so? I was just thinking. You think I... Unbelievable. <laughs> you think I would... In these circumstances? The fate of the world is in the balance and you're thinking about sex? <laughs> <laughs> This is 100% written by a table of 12-year-old boys at a middle school somewhere. It's fantastic. Your wish is my command. <laughs> you don't look like a sand shark. I'm back. And I have a friend. Mm. Say hi, Penny. This is my Penny. My penny. Oh. He's sleepy. Sleepy floofs. Cuteness, how's it going? Welcome back. Brother, shark is this is my cuteness. Hi, Penny. She's like a teddy bear, yeah. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Not on my lips, though. No, not on my lips. Thank you. He's a little teddy bear. Hmm. Are you part bear? Sleepy Maggie, happy Friday. Oh, yeah. oh. oh. All the fluff. Look at that fluff. Look at it. Look at it. You can go see mom. Ready? What? <laughs> Bye, Miss Penny. That's my penny. It's so soft. Stoli, how's it going? <clears throat> you can bury your face in her fur all day long. It's so soft. And lovely. She's going to be... Four months old next week. Youf. Uh, she's just about four months old. She's still a baby. Clear and sunny all day. Uh, bad luck day. Welcome to living off the land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. Got a kitchen? Cooking is a great way to enhance your abilities. Not only do they provide a convenient source of energy, but many dishes temporarily increase your skills, speed, and more. It smells good, don't it? Thank you so much for the follow. Alice. Yeah, Penny came and said hi. <clears throat> Dear Tug, you're such a good neighbor, I thought I'd send you over some animal feed to make your job easier. Keep it up, Barney. Oh, I need to plant wheat is wheat can I plant wheat in spring oh thank you Bings that's my my plan for the path eventually the paths hey there's a little piggy hi chickens bark 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 chickens wheat is fall okay Summer and fall? Okay. I'm gonna eat the large egg. Yeah, I'm just gonna put four pieces down. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. I 
really like how these tea saplings are turning out. That's gonna look nice. We gotta finish uh, redoing the paths. That hasn't grown in yet. It hasn't been seven days. Need more grass seed. Oops. Uh, fish pond is 7,500. <laughs> <laughs> is the fish pond five grand? It's five grand? Okay. I think that's going to be our next... Our next investment is going to be another fish pond. <clears throat> so we can put one right here or down here. I might do, maybe we'll do some trees here. Although I think we could fit one in, but we won't be able to have a path in between them. It's fine. Uh, how much aged row do we have? 10, okay. So once all these barrels, once those jars are done, we'll have enough to finish the uh, community center. Challenge fish farmers. So we just gotta wait for cauliflower and the green beans to come in. I forgot to water the flowers. Oh, they're in, so I don't have to anymore. Okay, those green beans haven't come in yet. The cauliflower takes forever to come in. Maybe we'll go grab more... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe we'll go grab more seeds and just plant them down the middle. We have all that quality fertilizer there. So it'd be kind of a waste of, of space not to. How lucrative are the fish ponds? You only have one with midnight carp in it. Okay, so uh, fish ponds, kitten, are as lucrative as the fish that you put in them. So the two primary big earners for fish ponds are lava eels and sturgeon. Sturgeon generate um, sturgeon roe, which turns into caviar which is sells for good money. Lava eel row turns into aged lava eel row, which sells for even a little bit more. So the value of their fish eggs and the value of aging it in a preserved jar is determined by the value of the fish. So the higher the base value of the fish, the higher the price of their eggs and the aged eggs. So um, you can make really, really good money off of that. Aged lava eel row is in the... 900 gold range. I know, I think caviar sells for 750 somewhere around there. So you can definitely make good money depending on the value of the fish that it comes from. Uh, so it's, it's fish ponds. You can make good money on, uh, it's a nice passive, like background piece of, uh, earning. What? What was I going to do? Let's, we can go see Evelyn and give her a tulip. Uh, there was something else I was going to do. And I got distracted. That never happens. Never ever happens. Let's go see Evelyn and give her a tulip. Oh, more seeds. Thank you, Mags. Yeah, so that's the other thing. Thank you, Bia. Uh, every fish has a different loot table. Some don't have any extra loot, but there are some that can give you extra items. Um, for instance, rainbow trout, which are not very good value as far as uh, the price of their row, have a very small percentage chance to drop a prismatic shard. So there's, uh, there's definitely other fish that you can put in that won't give you as much passive income, but give you the opportunity to make some serious money. Should we go kale? Six days to mature. Sure. Uh, how many do I need? 18, right? Kale's good is an expensive one, so it probably sells for decent. <clears throat> 
how often do you collect the fish eggs? That depends on the fish, but it's every couple days, generally. A uh, rainbow trout kitten has a chance to give you a prismatic shard. It's a very low chance. But there is a chance. And there's uh, other fish that have opportunities to drop different things. I think lava eels can drop fire quartz, if I remember. Uh, you can look up, I know uh, the wiki has the loot tables for all the different types of fish. So like with most things in the game, the higher the value the row is, the longer it takes to generate and the longer it takes to age. So uh, that kind of goes for, for everything. Like the higher the value the line is, the longer it takes to, to make and age and stuff. So Wiggy says aged lava eel row is 750, caviar is 500. Artisan skyrockets the value, yeah. You're talking a total of 30% on top of that? I think you can get Lava Eel Road to 900. I think. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, uh, the other thing that you can do, actually I can do that right now to, to demonstrate. So they give you quests, right, to expand. Once you get the final one, and once you get them to 10 fish, uh, you can fish them down. So I can grab two out of here. And they'll go back up to 10 <clears throat> in a few days, and I can sell the sturgeon for extra money. They're no star, like you won't get any iridium star sturgeon from it, but you still get a little bit of money. I always forget to do that. So. Okay, now I want to go to the beach. We'll stop and see Evelyn and give her a tulip. Uh, maybe we'll stop at the saloon and grab a beer for Shane and for Pam. Money is money, yeah. Oh my, what a lovely day. This is absolutely marvelous. Uh, where we at? You've made an old lady very happy. Five hearts with Evelyn. That, uh, couple cups of coffee. Let's grab a spaghetti. Maybe. Maybe Kent likes spaghetti. Let's find out. I just saw him walking around. There's Harvey. We can give him a coffee as well. Why is everybody standing over here? It's so weird. Hi, Kent. Hey, now this is a really great gift. Thanks. That sounds like a like, not a love. For me, it's my favorite stuff. It's like you read my mind. Welcome, Harv. Super Cucumber has a chance for Iridium Ore. There you go. Robin loves spaghetti. Noted. Let me go grab another spaghetti then. Let me grab two. Let's see if Maru likes. Maru's walking over. Hi, Maru. This is a super gift. Thank you. Five hearts with Maru. That sounds like a like and not a love. Maru likes a lot of stuff. <laughs> Alright. I want to go check the beach for... Uh... What you call it? Urchins. Twenty-five gold star vegetables. Two dozen eggs. I can do that. We can do that, Gus. I didn't know you could have more than one of those at a time. Put the eggs in Gus's fridge. Okay. I gotta remember to not make mayo for the next couple bits. 
Lava eels, super cucumbers, slime jacks, void salmons, change the color of the pond water. Yeah, the lava eels, it becomes lava. Like the red water, like in the cave. It's, it's great. Super cucumbers turn it purplish, right? <clears throat> I could have done the gold star one, but I didn't know if kale counted. Because I have that, I have all of that growing on quality fertilizer. RNG is not with me on this playthrough. Alright, let's go see Robin and give her a plate of spaghetti. And we'll swing back by and see Shane. Hi, Demetrius. Can we go? Oh! Have I told you that I built our house from the ground up? It's definitely been the highlight of my career so far. Is this for me? Wow, I absolutely love it. Six hearts with Robin. I'd like to know about a fish type in fish ponds that will activate special dialogue. Yes. A hundred percent, Mags. Ding, ding, ding. I'm still not level 10 foraging, right? No, I'm at 9. I don't know how my farming hasn't leveled up. That seems impossible. Ooh, rice shoots. That'll make up for the ones I had to destroy. Crabs? You could put... I did not know you could put crabs in a fish pond. Interesting. Is that Marnie? Is your horse wearing a hat? Yes, Maggie. Uh, my horse is wearing a blue bonnet. Uh, my horse's name is Yo Horserino. And he's wearing a blue bonnet. I'm guessing uh, Willy, right? After the Willy cutscene where the crabs got out in the shop. It'll either be Willy or uh, Gus, right? You had no idea you could put hats on the horses? Absolutely. Uh, Flamingo, did you see the clip of Violet from the other day? She was in her greenhouse and she actually accidentally put a bomb down. And blew up all her flowers, a couple of iridium sprinklers. That's worth, uh, that's worth safe scumming and restarting the day. Because <laughs> that, that stings. It was both hilarious and tragic at the same time. I love, I... <laughs> I love that Violet just said, not again. <laughs> that was the best part of the clip. Okay. Uh... Eh? Oh, I hate everything about that, but we'll get some more rice. Okay. Need to save eggs. We haven't gotten any more honey yet. And the green beans haven't come in yet. <clears throat> I got the eggs today, right? I guess let's do a little farm fishing before bed. <clears throat> Get some trash we can throw in the recycler. 
I want to make some clothes too. Uh, see what we can make. I have a couple pieces of cloth. Since we're maxed with Emily, it's not worth gifting to her right now. Okay, so what's, what is the deal with the bouquet? Is it only, it does it only become a problem when multiple people get to 10 hearts? Like if I give, say, like three people a bouquet now and get them to 10 hearts and then keep working on other ones, like when does it become an issue? Bigger than the mountain map? It feels like the same size as like the Four Corners map, Bia. I love the the hilltop farm is was my favorite of the original farms, but the beach farm is very cool. I love the hilltop farm because it's it's really interesting and it's not just like okay, let me put a square crops here and a square crops here and fence in my barn. So when you give them all a bouquet and never marry, that's when it's an issue. So is it, is it only if you give, are there 10 of them that are single? Is it only when you get all of them a problem? When they all reach 10 hearts? Okay. So I could give a couple people bouquets now and it won't be an issue. Just because... I have good gifts for for people who I have maxed at eight now, so. Okay. So we could give like Haley, Abigail, Emily, uh, Elliot bouquets right now. I think uh, maybe Penny and Leah as well. Lavender, how's it going? Good to see you again. Happy Friday. Uh, all right, we got to save up cash for another fishing pond. That's going to be my next. Uh, or do I want to get the deluxe coop? <laughs> I'd love to max out the coop and also get auto grabbers. That would be great. I don't know. I want all the things. That's my problem. The dispense of the suspense of who you will choose to marry is killing you. Hello, hello. If you want to give everyone bouquets to get their ten hearts, you can just have a rabbit's foot with you when you're on your last person. Okay, so it that whole issue triggers when you give the last person the bouquet or when they get them the ten hearts. I was just worried that if I gave like two people, that it would immediately start a problem. So that. That frees me up to do some stuff then. Thank you for the follow, by the way. Welcome in. Uh, why isn't the, the mahogany tree hasn't sprouted yet? <clears throat> Go forth and love everyone. That's what I'm talking about. You waited on animal barns until winter one, built them and totally upgraded them all before you bought any animals and it worked really well. That's basically what I did with my barn, Flamingo. I had one cow and I fully upgraded the barn. And it was lovely. Uh, so I really want to upgrade the coop. Uh, let's throw the trash in the recyclers. Boom, boom. And then the cows had, yeah, and then Wombus decided that it could re reproduce asexually. And uh, now we have three cows. Okay. Level eight farming. We can finally make freaking kegs. All right, we have things to do now. Uh, beautiful sunny day. 
neutral spirits. I haven't checked on, oh, we missed Lewis's birthday. That's a shame. Uh, Vincent's birthday tomorrow. Doc, what's going on? Welcome back, nerd. Uh, do we know anything that Vincent likes? I haven't really talked to Vincent. <laughs> I don't really talk to the children. He loves pink cake, grapes, and cranberry candy. I don't have, I don't think I have any of those things. Grapes. I don't think I have any grapes. He also loves seashells. Oh, okay. Thank you, kid. I did now, Bings. Got a text from your supervisor saying, hey, did you still want to meet today? Because it was 15 minutes after it was supposed to be. Oh, yeah, right. You should have said, oh, no, I I emailed you earlier this week and canceled that meeting. An orange and a pomegranate. Where's Jim? Jim's probably sleeping. He did a 12-hour stream yesterday. But I just want Jim. J Jam. Jimerson. Bun Bun, how's it going? Jim has been trying for a pomegranate forever. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Bun Bun. So this is uh, this is a combination of cobble, crystal pathway, and stepping stones. So if you mix and match them, it gives it a very uh, cool effect. Because the crystal pathway is basically just multicolored cobble. So, but it looks really well. I like the way it looks. Gus loves oranges. Somebody loves pomegranate, right? I should buy some bouquets today then and start uh, start doing that. Elliot loves pomegranate, okay. We can do that. Just how I wasn't, I said barely functioning, very little sleep and no coffee. <laughs> how about you? Ooh, this is done. Oh. Yo. Uh, that is an Iridium Meteor Lavender. Uh, holy crap, that gave me a lot of fire. Okay. Uh, we got a meteor. A r it's a random event that can happen on your farm where a meteor hits. Uh, I got it very early on and I still can't harvest the iridium because I don't have a, an appropriate pickaxe yet. <laughs> Where's the other? Oh, there's the baby cow. Hi, little congus. Looking good. Wait, are you? No. Jay Jr.'s not, not grown yet. Chato? Channel? Alright, we gotta save eggs. Uh, just give it time. Thanks, Nerdin. Ooh, we got honey. Blue jazz honey, tulip honey. Uh, and this stuff hasn't come in yet. <clears throat> I should upgrade my pickaxe. Oh no, I can't afford that. That's why I haven't done it. I can't afford it. <laughs> That's why. Because it's very expensive. All right, you know what I'll do? I'm going to put the eggs in here so that I don't accidentally sell them. But let's make some cheese. So we need to save those eggs for Gus. <clears throat> sell the honey. Uh, we'll keep the orange and the pomegranate for gifts. Put 
Bloop. Okay. Uh. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Hi, Pam. Hey, hey! Now this is really something. Thanks a million, kid. Oh, that's what I was gonna do. Kegs. Uh, copper, iron, and oak resin. Okay, we can do that. Nope, I don't want to drink the beer. That's what we gotta do. We gotta make kegs. We need kegs. We need a pale ale for Pam. Uh, let's do four. Nah, we'll do three. Three? Four. Uh, four oak resin and 120 wood. We should have four oak resin, yeah. And the wood is no problem. Okay. Boom! I love the achievement sound. Okay. Uh, let's put the kegs down. I'm gonna put them over here. For now. You can line them up right there. Uh, I saved a ton of hops. Right? Right? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, so we'll have a pale ale for Pam, a pale ale for the community center. And then once the tea is done, I think that will finish the brewer's bundle. Although, oh no, I can make wine now too. So then we'll have a pale ale and wine be good yeah good times okay uh, let's go give we have a beer for Shane we're gonna grab we'll buy a couple bouquets so let's do some targeted bouquets first so I think Elliot and then uh Abigail? Doo -doo -doo. He sell- he can- if you sell him stuff, he'll sell it back to you? That's interesting. I did not know that. Vinegar oil rice. Okay. Let's do three bouquets. We'll give one to Abigail. Hi, I'm glad to see you. I'm going to do this in front of your father. I'll accept this. Thank you. Uh, I don't have anything to gift you right now. But you're welcome. Let's pop in and see Harvey. Oh, Maru's here. And Willie's here. Ah, I got a fish hook stuck in my thumb. Doctor's gonna cut it out. <laughs> Am I turning into Mikey? <laughs> Feel free to stop by my office if you're ever feeling ill. You're young, though. You'll probably stay healthy without trying. <laughs> that's... That's our secret. Mikey and I are secretly the same person. Don't mind my husband, George. He isn't very friendly to strangers. What are you talking about? We get along great. <laughs> He's not helping the economy with the Jojo Mart expansion. Well, you know, Mikey's gonna Mikey. The sweet friction of pen and paper 
is the music of my soul. That's why I chose this beach as my home, so that I could have peace and quiet to do my work. Uh, whoa, hey, hey, Elliot. Stop walking away from me. Uh, I'll accept this. Thank you. Is he blushing? Oh, wait. Uh, pomegranate. <gasps> this is a beautiful gift. Thank you. You're welcome. Still no urchins. Weeks and weeks and weeks. Not a single urchin. They all blush? I just didn't notice, I guess. That's very unlike me. Uh, tried to give him a bouquet at seven stars. He was like, no, I'm sorry. I don't feel that way. <laughs> Ten minutes later. Have you checked the streets for urchins? That's a good call, Jersey. Good call. Uh, does... Vincent like oysters, or is it only the shells? Need something for his birthday. Oyster is a dislike. Okay. So not a good birthday present, is what you're trying to say. Noted. And they all say, I'm nervous, aren't you, when you talk to them after giving them a bouquet? He likes snails. He would. Where did I leave my horse? No one's here? Raptor, how's it going? Happy Friday. Uh, Penny, are we at eight hearts with Penny? We are. Maybe now that my mother has her bus driving job back, I can start saving more money. Things are looking a little brighter. Do you want to get more serious? I feel the same way. I'm kind of nervous, aren't you? Uh, I don't have anything for you, Penny, right now. But, you know. All right, so now we're we're dating Elliot and Abigail and Penny. Hi, please relax and enjoy yourself. Have an orange. Oh, you're giving this to me? I'm speechless. Two hearts with Gus. At the same time, yes. I mean, eventually, it's going to be way more than that. <laughs> but just for now, we'll focus on those on those three. Oh, wait, I had a cup of coffee for Harvey, and I forgot to give it to him. And he's gone. All right. Well, I tried, Harv. Cheese is done. The pale ale doesn't take long, right? Uh, I need a present for Vincent tomorrow. We, we know very, very little about him, right? He was okay with bread. So if it comes down to it, I can just give him bread. <laughs> um, what else do I have? 
nothing. I have a super meal and a lucky lunch. Good chance to catch a snail in the crab pots? That's a good call, Mags. Uh, let's make some bait real quick. We can do that. <clears throat> we'll set that up. Worst comes to worst, I'll just give him bread. <laughs> It'll be fine. Ooh, wigglers. Get your wigglers out. Here we go. Okay, beans still haven't come in. That's got to be in soon, right? Gotta be. Hi, pup. I should uh, make more and plant more of those uh, fiber things, because that was crazy. That's absolutely crazy. Uh, and that took mixed seeds, sap, and clay. I have a lot of all of those things. Just put those in there. For now, better organized. Okay. Yay. That'll come in. We got 70 something from that last time. So that's awesome. I need to get stone. I need to upgrade my pickaxe, but we need to save money for that. Um, that's going to be a little while before I can do that. So what we're missing now, <clears throat> we have pale ale brewing and then Worst case, at the end of spring, we can make some green tea because we have uh, those hedges that are keeping the cows in place are all uh, tea bushes. Uh, we could also make some wine now that we have kegs. So. Actually, should I make. You know what? You know what? I'm just going to make a couple more kegs. Copper, iron, and oak resin. I'll make two more kegs. I have three oak resin. I'll make three more kegs. Because I know I'm going to... I know I'm going to need more, so might as well just do it now. Okay. That'll make some cheap wine, but it'll fulfill the brief. All right. Uh, I guess we'll turn in early today, huh? Not a lot else I could do. Yeah, I can't really get to the quarry and back. It's fine. Did I save any cranberries? I did not, Flamingo. I did not. I probably should have, but I didn't. We'll see. Maybe we'll get a snail in the crab pots, and that'll, uh, that'll make that gift easier. But light breeze. It is neutral spirits. So it is Vincent's birthday. We have the egg festival on Saturday. 
I'll probably buy some strawberries, but not a lot. Then Haley's birthday is on Sunday. I should give her a bouquet. I think we're going to give her a bouquet. And then both Pam and Shane's birthdays are coming up. Oops. Joja can. <laughs> hey, kid, here's the recipe for a little treat my pampa used to make. Cook it slow. Pam. Cheese cauliflower. Ooh. Ooh. Dear Tug, you're such a good neighbor. I thought I'd send you some animal feed to make your job easier. Keep it up, Marnie. Thank you, Marnie. More. Ooh, five rice shoes. Okay. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Uh, that is 12. We need three more. with his caviar. Rachel, how's it going? Good to see you. I think any fruit is a light gift. Okay. Stacy, how's it going? Good morning. Well, welcome in. If you have any questions, fire away. If I don't know them, folks in chat definitely do. shoots it's too bad these spots are too far away when rear as old as time itself uh, you're not wrong because what is time Jay Jr.'s not grown. Piggy's not grown. Piggy takes a full season. I'm not a fishing addict. House is clean now so you can play all day. That's awesome. That's always good news. Where is Chatso? In the tunnel? Yep. Chatso always in the tunnel. aren't in yet? How long the beans take? It's been 10 days. Thought they were faster than that. Ow. We got nothing but garbage from the crap pots. The one time the one time I actually want something from the crab pot. Get nothing. We get nothing but garbage. <laughs> That's incredible. That is incredible. Well, uh... Does Vincent like milk? Is that at least a like? Have we tried giving him milk before? All I've given him is bread. Okay. Let's give him milk for his birthday. What could possibly go wrong? Right? Absolutely nothing. Is it a bad luck day? Yes, actually. <laughs> It is. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, he likes daffodils. And coconuts. Uh, we could do daffodils. 
Gurgi, how's it going? I can't make mayo. I gotta save the eggs. How many eggs do we need for that? 24. I don't think I'm gonna have... Yeah, I'll make it. As long as I don't miss a day. As long as I don't miss a day, we'll get there. The farm's going well, Gurgi. We're getting there. We're, we're dating a lot of people now. So, you know, going pretty well. Ooh, another jade. All right, we'll go this way and then we'll circle around. Eventually, I'm going to settle on someone and there'll be an angry mob of people. That has never happened. Come on. Uh, not yet, Bings. Once I get all of them gathered up, I'll just drop them all in at once. He likes maple syrup. Ew. Thank you, Rachel. That's going to be better than... I was debating giving him a beer. <laughs> Happy birthday, kid. Current game, you were paying attention to fishing. Could have completed the community center in year one, but you're lazy. <sighs> fishing is a lovely pastime, though. I think I have maple syrup, right? Yeah, okay. Off to Vincent. Uh, it's Vincent's birthday. So we're gonna go give Vincent something. <clears throat> and then I also want to give, uh, Haley a bouquet. But Pierre's closed today, so I can't. Is Vincent gonna be at home, or is he gonna be getting tutored? Yeah, I don't have any grapes, Gurgi, unfortunately. I did know that. We found a note about that, so. I unfortunately don't have any left. Abigail or Haley? Uh, Haley Bings. I'm gonna give Haley a bouquet. I'm gonna give everybody a bouquet. You remembered my birthday! Thank you, this is great. Oh, hi, Tug. Taking a break from your work? Uh, do I have anything for Abigail? Does Abigail like milk? I don't remember. I haven't given her milk. She likes coffee. I could give her coffee. I'll save that for... Uh, Elliot, it's just a like as well, right? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, hey, how'd you know I was hungry? This looks delicious. Grapes are pretty easy to grow. Yeah. All right, hang on. Let me clear these books. I've read all these books before, so I'm not going to read them again. Thanks for the note, Gunther. Commonsman. Oh, there's one in a dwarven language. deep do the mines go started to make friends with the local townspeople they give you recipes scarecrows secret of the star drop journey of the prairie king diamond yields brewmaster's guide Mystery of the Dwarves. They call themselves Sky People. Book of Yoba. Marriage Guide. Mermaid Pendant, right? Mm -hmm. He 
You've been increasing friendship in your current game. It's so time consuming. It does take a while. <laughs> Did that already? That? Nope. Can you? Can can you? Can all right. We'll leave that one until later. <laughs> Hi, Penny. We also gave you a bouquet. I lived in Pelican Town my whole life. Can you believe that? I guess there's a lot out there I'll never experience. Uh, we have another leak, so we could swing by and see George. We also get a bunch of hearts for uh, completing the community center, right? <laughs> From the sounds of it, I think she's being bad right now. So. Oh, cutscene! Uh, I just can't reach it. Only I could get up from this infernal chair. Thanks, young man. Uh, it happened 30 years ago. I was working in the coal mines. We were near the end of our shift, but there was one last seam that needed to be broken up. I went in there aiming to set off a stick of dynamite, but my foot slipped into a crack and I dropped it. The dynamite exploded on impact. The next thing I remember, I was laying in the hospital, and they told me I'd never walk again. So there you have it. You probably figured I was just too old to walk. Well, I'll have you know that I'd be sprier than a spring chicken if I hadn't been in that accident. Poor George. I never knew that. I thought he was in a wheelchair because he was old. You've been very nice to me, young man. I appreciate that. When you're old, you start to forget that anyone cares about you. Right? Uh, hi, George. Alex is my grandson. Have I told you that already? Have a leak. This is my favorite thing. Thank you. Seven hearts with George. Let's go. Uh, I think, didn't we try to give Alex a granola bar before and he hated it? No, oh, maybe not. Who did I, did I give it to Sam maybe? Let's try. Uh, oh, okay, thanks. Going with no. <laughs> that sounded like a no. Yeah, okay, well. No one likes those granola bars, they're delicious. What are you talking about? Everybody likes granola bars. Thirty copper ores. No, Clint. I am not going into the mines anytime soon. Uh, egg festival Saturday. Haley's birthday Sunday. We need to. We need to give a bouquet to Haley before Saturday. Uh, you still haven't gotten a horse. It's so. It it makes moving around so much faster. Hi, Marnie. Uh, Marnie. You can use a scythe to cut feed from grass. Thanks. Have some milk. Thank you. Quite welcome. Or you can buy it from me, of course. Mm-hmm. Drink coffee and then ride the horse? You go really fast, really. I didn't know that impacted uh, horse run speed. I know it affects your run speed. That's good to know. Cheese and caviar. Doo -doo -doo. Take care, Nerdin. Thank you so much for hanging out. Good luck getting the kiddo down for a nap. OK. 
Okay. Uh, maybe I'll make... Oh, man. You know what? I have time. Let's take the minecart over to the quarry real quick because I need more stone. I want to finish replacing those paths and I need stone for that. And I don't have much. And maybe we'll get our mining up a little. Probably not. But maybe. Copper. Stone, 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 stone. Boom. 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 Halo Universe, how's it going? Do you have to put the caviar in the keg? Uh, in a preserves jar. Yeah. Uh, so it's sturgeon roe in a preserves jar turns into caviar. Uh, which is one of the more valuable ones. The, the base cost, I think, uh, said earlier was 500. And then uh, if you have artisan, it increases it significantly. Uh, lava eel row, I think, is the most valuable. Which is uh, like 750 or something. But you can get it up to like 900 with uh, artisan. The aged thing I have in the chest, I have caviar and aged blobfish roe. Uh, I got one of the remixed bundles that we got is the fish farmer's bundle, which requires 15 aged roe. So I'm trying to save up. I'm hoping, <laughs> hoping that caviar counts. If not, <laughs> I'm going to be a little upset. Uh, but I want to do another fish pond and we'll put a squid in there. And then uh, that will produce squid ink. So we can fulfill it that way. Yeah, if not, I'll sell it for a lot of money. Yeah. That'll cover the cost of the, uh, of the fish pond. That's... That... Cycler. <clears throat> uh, a couple recipes use it, yeah. <clears throat> a golden relic? Yeesh. You could hunt squid kids for ink too. Yeah, I didn't get any to drop, Gurgi. I did that briefly, but uh, I didn't get any to drop. So I need to... Uh, I can always do that if we... We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. <clears throat> we'll worry about that once it happens. But until then, I'll just go with the plan I got. Because it's almost... We're almost done. We're almost there. You have a lot of garbage can hats? Jeez. Uh, lifeboat's mocking me through the glass doors. Hello. It is cold in here. Penny! Putting some pants down. You have six? You got five in year one? I have checked every... Gurgi, I have checked every garbage can. Every day. And I have not gotten one this time. I got the one on my other playthrough. And that was it. Wife boat and Penny are here. It's the birthday girl. And the little puppy. Uh, it's bedtime. Hang on. 
Let me go to sleep, and we'll say hi to, hi to Penny and Wave Boo. We got Pale Ale. Let's go. Pam's Quest and the Community Center. <clears throat> sleep. The birthday girl and the pupper. Hi, gorgeous. Jerk face. jerk face. Cute face, more like. Mm -hmm. Cute face, more like. Mm -hmm. Mwah. Oh. Uh, so, I think that's a good spot to wrap up. I'm about out of time for today. So, <laughs> uh, I'm going to go... Uh, spend some time with the birthday girl and I'll be back next week. Uh, stay tuned to my Twitter or in discord or the little schedule panel that's down below. I will post my schedule for next week down there. I think Monday. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Monday will be the next stream. We'll get back to Stardew at 8 AM Eastern time. Uh, and then the rest of the week I'll have posted later this weekend. So, uh, I'll be back. Make sure you hang out after the credits and we're going to raid somebody and spread that tug love. So, uh, I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your Friday. I hope you have an even better weekend. So, uh, until Monday, have a fantastic weekend, everybody. And as always, as ever, remember, be good to each other. Bye, everybody. Oh god. Oh no. Nope. That's that's gone. That's gone poorly. Hmm. Ignis, thank you so much for the fun. Oh. Oops. Uh, my windshield's cracked. That's a thing. No idea what I'm doing or where I'm going. Twiggy's trying to learn to drive. This is exactly how it's done, Twiggy. Take notes. Be ready. Yes. Dear.